one. Welcome to the Old School RuneScape Podcast. I am Inmate Cow. What's going on, boys? Rex, as always. And it's me, Rex Cup. And today we have the legendary hardcore Iron Man with Grandmaster's done, Mr. Mutz. Called the Mutzinator. And yeah, yeah, today we're going to really be covering um, his journey, you know, throughout uh, this epic time of his hardcore Iron Man's from the first one all the way to, you know, to the end and all, all that good stuff. So, yeah, welcome back uh second time for mr mutz but this time yeah. you know we, we got we got him helmed up with with the zuck helm yo good shit good shit oh yeah thank you thank you yeah glad to be back it's actually not been that long but um really no i don't yeah. think it has it's, I, I, I looked i looked it up actually before we started it's like half a year ago actually but i thought it was way longer ago though like it felt way longer ago but yeah i, I mean it's six months anything it's not. It's not every is, uh, day that a hardcore Iron Man gets Grandmaster, though. Yeah, you that's know? true. That's true. You know how we titled the last video? We're like, "Yo, we need to <laughs> like, we need to be clickbaity, right? Like, yo, rank one hardcore Iron Man." Right, right? Yeah. Right, true. Right? I feel. True. Like, I feel like you live up to your. You, you know, you live up to that to that title nowadays. So it's okay. This you is know? the rank one it, it, Iron Man or hardcore? It, it's right. been discussed a lot. Like, am I actually the best hardcore? It, it's just so, so much discussion between people and. People are like piping up about it. It's like, well, I don't really care. Like, it depends what your terms yeah. are. The the best, right? But like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you are one. Who of knows? The best. So I think Let's the give, title stands. Give us some qualifications, right? Grandmaster. What do you got? Like ninety nine, two hundred mils, everything, or yeah. what, What's the rank one qualification looking like? But that like that is really different for everyone else. I feel like everyone has their own values to what I should think be the best P hardcore real hardcore pvm you know pvm that's that's my definition as well like i feel True. like pvm like boss cases is one thing but there's also like actual items um well the gear that you have like i have max gear for example well as far as gear goes there's some things like some niche items that i'm still missing like the void waker um but like that's generally speaking i have max gear so that can't be much better than that i guess there's a lot of other things to consider as well. I mean, I, I think at the moment, I think one of the things that Mint might not fully recognize here is just how tremendous of a challenge the the Grand Master challenge is. Because, <laughs> and I I say that I'm not flaming you, Mint, but I know that you only do PvP. <laughs> okay. I actually before the podcast started, I I told Mutz I said, okay, I'm here to learn, and I want to know why <laughs> it is so crazy to be grandmaster is a hardcore or why is just crazy okay. to complete grandmaster in general and i i've seen some of this stuff and it's insane but just to lay it out like i'm just me you know lay it just, on just give me the rundown yep. yeah yeah i mean a cow. that's fair that's fair um well i guess the, the main thing why it's already so i guess impressive it feels weird saying that about my own uh, achievement i guess but there's only two people like i'm the second hardcore to ever achieve it so that that really puts it in perspective as well and i think the main thing like even mains like there's not that many mains with a zuck helm you would mainly see uh regular accounts of zuck helms not too many iron man have it um i think the main reason for that is well as an iron man you need to get your own gear and some of the tasks they are locked behind having some of the best gear possible or not necessarily luck, but it will make your life a lot easier and it will make the task a lot better to do, of course. Yeah. So I think that's one thing. Like you, the 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 bar is quite high, and therefore you just need the best of the best gear, and not everyone has that. So I think that's one thing. And there's so, so many like so many stuff, so many things. You need to do all the bosses in the in the game. So do, it's do not you... like oh you're you're good at one thing and that's all you do, but you need to be good at everything really. Do you think it's even possible for somebody to complete the Grand Masters without, like, a Tebow, for example? I'm just thinking of, like, the speedrunner tasks. Like, like, like for Zuck. Take Zuck, for example. You have to yeah. do it under 65 minutes. Could you even mm -hmm. do that with a Bofa? Like, I, I don't there even... Is... You could... Yeah, there is actually an Iron Man that has done it without Tebow. That's I think crazy. Art, was it? I think it was him. Yeah, um, I think there might be a few now, you know. I, that probably, probably is a few, yeah, but yeah. It, it is definitely so much more challenging to do it without yeah. Tebow, I feel. Like, I think Tebow is one of those items that's really essential um, to getting some of the times. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe maybe now with 
TOA being released, it might be a bit easier because of new items coming into the game. But <clears throat> it's definitely still a big challenge, I feel. What are, um, so you got speed running and you got to kill all the bosses. So what are some of the top Grandmaster tasks that are just, not just for a hardcore, but in general, just mm -hmm. something that people have a, ta a struggle doing? I think they did a really good job with uh, TOA, yeah. the new Rage 3. I think they really like improving from the tasks that they've added before and they've like, okay, what are we missing? Like, what is it that we need to do to make them challenging? And I think they did a really good job. And that's why I think most of the actual difficult tasks are within TOA. I feel I really think that's the case Yeah, because they just, they kind of nailed it. I think they really nailed it on that. I mean, thinking like talking about items and like helping you and with TOA, I, mm -hmm. I recently just completed the perfect hat. So Akka, inside of um yeah inside of toa and yeah. like you know it took me from start to finish i think i was doing it solidly for 10 hours it took me 10 yeah. hours to get that task Great. i went in there yeah. with very little Ten knowledge didn't really know how to butterfly properly and like you know I within mean, within four I... hours i was a beast i was getting it down I'll, every yeah. time yeah i want to i want to just say i think a lot of the high-end pvmers are going to get everything you guys are saying right just the verbatim <laughs> the language you know Fuck yeah, dude. I know what they're talking about. But me? Okay. What the fuck are you so, talking about? You know bro, what I mean? Like, can we just explain everything? <laughs> well, well, the firstly, task, the I, challenge, I the you, box, you. bro. Yeah. If you want to know, if you want to know what the butterfly is, check out my next mm -hmm. video. Okay, because there's gonna be a big <laughs> segment. Of a, ba basically, so, it's promo, a baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when you do when you do that, when you do that uh challenge, right? So it's based on the boss Akka. And arguably that's like the the mechanically hardest boss yeah, who's in on, all yeah. of race three it's the human guy it's the humanoid dude right but like essentially um how this boss works is that a lot of the damage can be fully mitigated if you kite the boss so that's what butterfly does yeah is, is that you just keep running in a like a square away from the boss and he just follows you in a circle and and while you're kiting and hitting you know the minions and hitting the boss you, you take no damage he doesn't do anything for a certain amount of time yep so he had to learn all that from scratch learning how to kite it but there's there's and, and there's also, loads there's loads to it yeah, because it, it's effectively it, yeah. a case of if you take any damage off prey or any unnecessary damage for any reason you fell and it's just like you have to have all of the invocations on so everything's crazy in there as it is and it's just one of those tasks where it's like you know i did that and i did the butterfly with the tomb of shadow and it still took me 10 hours, right? Which is the best, yeah. like, the best item undisputedly to do that to be task. Honest, and it was still this, difficult. That's probably, like, top three hardest tasks in TOA. Or top oh, two. yeah. I yeah. think maybe, like, even in general, for my maybe yeah. not. But it, it's, it's definitely up there. 18, you know, it's, it's kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the main really difficulty... Hard. That's really hard. I think the main difficulty of the task is that you have to do it in a duo. Like, you can't solo it. And I think yeah. that's the real difficulty because you always have the double special attack with uh like, so it's double and it's fast and mm. you, you can't really like go in the middle with your teammate so like the other one has to do like the staircase thingy uh which they have to be confident with as well yeah. at least I, I think i think that's how you did it as well Rixie, yeah. right I, yeah. dude i so here's the thing so basically what happened with me was i was doing it with a duo and it just it wasn't going so well <laughs> so yeah. i was like okay i'm gonna go and learn how to do everything so I learned yeah. how to do the staircase. The staircase is easy as piss. Like, it's super easy. You just mm -hmm. need to know when to move. Um, yeah. But then I basically, the reason it took me so long is because I spent six hours just sending it back to back to back to back to back solo just so I could get everything else down. And then I finished it in, like, the next 50 goes when I teamed up with a friend of mine. Like, we got to the final part of the boss, the ball phase, like, on the first mm -hmm. attempt. So I was ready to pass. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was just... Yeah. um. It's just such a, a hard task. But like I'm just thinking like if you did that task without a two man shadow, like it's doable, but holy shit. Like it took me ten hours of the best gear in game. Like if I didn't have the best gear in game yeah. and I was like, I don't know, using a trident on the sides or like mm -hmm. blood barraging or something, because I don't know, Mint, this is going so far over your head, but you got different like tick well, rate so weapons and stuff. It's like it would have taken so no, okay. All right. I know it tick I know that part. But like I'm trying to understand because I know there's going to be other people like me that want to get into RuneScape, but I mean, you know, first you got to understand it's Rage Three, and then Aka's one of the bosses, and then you said what was the 
are they called inscriptions or whatever? Were they invocation invocations? <laughs> Just bro, mechanics. Sorry, bro. So invocations make the boss harder and give you better loot. Yeah. And so this task we're talking about is you have to have all the invocations and do Aka perfectly, and yeah. that's how you get past it? Yeah, okay. yeah pretty much. Well, right. You have to do it with two people, and two none people. of you guys can make a single mistake. Yeah, neither one, yeah. Not so let's, yeah, let's explain the task like that so people know, like, the challenge, bro. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. the actual sure. struggle, because that makes it so much more yeah, vivid uh, in my mind how struggling that is. But, but basically, though, um, the mechanics are really dog- that's why the butterfly is so good because it stalls the boss from activating a lot, of, uh, a lot of its mechanics. Probably the hardest one in in this setting, in this duo uh, setting, where you you know you need you need two people, is that there there's a mechanic where once he kind of like stabs his staff on the ground, your character changes colors, and if you move at all, it'll generate two orbs, like one in the front and one in the back of you. So you can see what happens is that if your duo partner is next to you. The, th the problem is, is that it'll, it'll hit your orb will hit your partner, and that means you, you guys will tasks. knock orbs. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you cannot touch any of the orbs. But the problem is, each of you guys are spawning orbs, so you guys cannot nope. be next to each other when it happens. Because otherwise, never touch orbs, dude. Yeah, never yeah, touch orbs. Because you know, you, you spawn an orb on your partner, he fails, you fail. So that's why, like, when he does the, this uh, Simon Says special, where he disappears for a bit, and then like, there's four quadrants, and Basically, each quadrant will light up at different times, and you have to follow the order, right? Because like, there's like a AOE attack that hits hits the ground, uh, and you have to like go to the right quadrant to dodge it. But again, you both of you guys can't be in the in the same place because of the orbs, because the orbs spawn at the same time during that phase. So that's why one person has to be in the middle and learn how to dodge the uh, that Simon says attack mm -hmm. in the middle, and one person has to be on the outside of the circle. He has to do that staircase movement to avoid. Just to avoid that AOE attack completely. But, like, that will generate orbs, but nobody's touching it, so that's safe. But that's probably, like, the hardest part about it. And if you touch orbs, the task is off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, that's like, probably the biggest one to fail. And then at the end, there's the rage phase, you know, with the with the white flowing balls everywhere. Nobody can touch that at all. If one touch, you fail the test. Yeah. So And there's a lot Don't of touch them. The, balls, yeah. the whole gotcha. time. Yeah. And you have to try to kill him while dodging the orbs 100% perfectly, too. Basically, I mean, it's just like dodge all the orbs, man. That's like the biggest I've seen one. the white ball phase, dude. Not yeah. touching those is... Okay, I know it sounds bad, but not touching those is insane, bro. <laughs> it's hard, I saw yeah. the foe it's do hard. it, and he was just dodging the balls. All right, we got to move on, bro. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm giggling too much. What's the yeah. second hardest, then, from uh, Rage 3 for the, uh, the task? I mean, the uh, definitely the eight-man eight man speed. Yeah, do you know um, the, hard, well, the hardest part of that is getting eight people together, man. I've been trying to do it yes, for a yeah. week now, and I, nobody's online. It's just impossible. Hey, if you need someone, go to Malgo Kirby, bro. Uh, <laughs> and I'll try Malgo Kirby's stream, because uh, he runs those all the time. Yeah, I, You're I forgetting the fact that it was, all those eight people have to be geared, and they have to know what they're doing as well. So, like, that, that's, that's the combination of all that. It's so difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that's kind of the thing with the Grandmaster, is, like, it, it really does... <laughs> I guess it kind of divides the people who are just logging in casually versus the people yeah. that are here to really fucking be better because like mm -hmm. that's effectively what it should do is it should challenge you it should push you to a point where you feel fucking better bro like you've become a better player dude in, in my um last video the final task that I finished was the perfect wardens and we did perfect wardens and insanity in, in one go so effectively what that is is the entire final boss all three of the uh, phases you're not allowed to take any damage not allowed to get hit by anything nothing off prey etc etc and um in that clip i don't even sound excited at the end of it i'm just like <laughs> my i'm like my, my heart's racing so fast <laughs> 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 i was just bro i was it, it was like my hands are sweating. I, my heart is yeah. racing. It, it's effectively the same feeling I got when I got my first Infernal Cape. And, like, that in itself is something which is fucking amazing. Like, the, the game can mm -hmm. push you to that limit, you know? But I think um I think the Perfect Wardens is probably probably one of the challenging ones in there as well. Like, it took me a little... Yeah. A good good couple attempts to get it down. That, that That's definitely uh, a good one, because initially, when I looked at the tasks and, like, was, like, scrolling through the TOA tasks, I'm like, oh, well, this one doesn't seem too bad, you know? Insanity, like, oh, you know, just do Perfect Wardens on, on, the, on an expert level raid. 
I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem too bad. It's fine. And it actually isn't that bad, but you have to realize you have to go through the whole raid to yep. then attempt the task. Yeah. And yep. that's the thing. It's very time consuming. If anyone makes one mistake, that's the thing as well. Like, it's not just you, it's also your teammate, because that's also be in a duo. Um, neither of you can make a mistake. And that is just this, the pressure of it, it just alone is enough like to just mess up sometimes. And that, that that's fine. It happens. But I think as a main, you can just die or a regular Iron Man. You can just die and try again. I, I think that's still the case. I'm yeah, not yeah. too sure. Yeah, but yeah, You, you kind of have like two tries per run. That's about it. Because like, you know, you need you want to be salted. Supplies. Yeah. yeah you want to be salted. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. You, so you I can't do, do that. I, I obviously cannot just die because I would lose my status. Yeah. So. And you get one try per run. Yeah. It's yeah. extra annoying on a hardcore. Everything's more annoying on a hardcore for sure. Yeah. For sure. Well, it's a good job that people that play Iron Man typically oh. have more patience, you know. You kind of, also, like, set yourself up for that one. Yeah, yeah, also a good thing to know is that, uh, well, a bad thing to know that makes it harder for TOA is that um, it's not safe at all for hardcore. So if you die once, you lose your stats. Whereas in Chambers, there's some hard tasks in there, but on a hardcore, if you die, it doesn't really yeah, matter. Exactly. You just, you know, you don't lose your status, so it's all good, you know. I, I, Unlimited you know retries. What? Yeah. What, why is that? Why haven't they been consistent across the board with their raids when it comes to death? It's not it's really inconsistent. Throwing dice. Well, I mean, because like, nah, it's cause just more like chambers. About it. Chambers is a case if you can die as many times as you want, but in the other ones, you can't. So I don't well, really. Well, yeah, why is that? That, that, that's different though, because like the, yeah. the 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 punishment of dying in chambers is that you lose your points, not that you lose your stuff. With TOA and TOB, if the team wipes, you lose your stuff. I, th uh, I think it's pretty simple. It's just, it's just when Hardcore Iron Man came out, right? Chambers already existed. And I think Jagex wasn't really sure how they wanted to, yeah. you know, deal with it. And That's then right. later on, TOB came out and then TOA came out. And they, and they realized, like, yeah, we want to keep it exciting. So, mm -hmm. you know, fuck y'all. If you die, you die. And, 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 this, and this isn't a theory because Hardcore Group Iron Man is literally like that. If you die mm -hmm. in in Cox, you literally lose a life. Yeah. So yeah. so they like they they know that like that should have been what they should have done. If they knew better, yeah. you know, they would have done Cox like that as well. That's but, fair you know, they, it, yeah. 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 If it Chambers were released done, today, it would have definitely been a dangerous yeah, yeah. death, basically. I, yeah. I also it's think it's, can't it's the first ever raid too, right? Yeah. Like that's mm -hmm. the first one they ever made. So having it safe for everyone <clears> is a really safe option in general. Just because they've never done it before. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't sure how they wanted to do it back I mean, then, but now I, they know. I remember yeah. I think considering the hardcore Iron Man wasn't even out at the time, like just timeline wise, it makes sense that, you mm -hmm. know, I, I yep. didn't know, I didn't know that. So that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I now, say it's pretty consistent nowadays, you know, like pretty much every boss is, is not yeah. safe. <laughs> so what, yeah. what's the second hardest after TOA? So TOA is done. What are we looking at? Yeah. We're like, Ugh. um, probably TOB, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, There's definitely yeah. some. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not too sure. I think TAB though, like especially as a hardcore, for me it was hard mode TAB really because that was just very scary. But hard mode TAB in general, the tasks there are not difficult. They're pretty easy, and I think most people would agree with that. Um, regular TAB though, those speed times, those are pretty rough, and they're not that forgiving. And so that, I would say those are pretty difficult. Apart from that. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics in TOB that like could one shot you or uh, potentially two shot you pretty fast. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta be really careful. Like that it, it green seems ball. Seems like TOA like was just way <laughs> crazier, like so hard yeah. that it's like yeah. once you do everything TOA wise, you just got like a nice deep breath of relief. You're like, all right, I got it locked in. Everything else is like, like a challenge to you. I feel like there's a lot more variety as well in term like in terms of challenges in TOA, like. I feel like every other boss, like I, like combat achievement, it's more like just there's a speed task and I don't know there's like a perfect task or something like that. I feel like that's it for most bosses. It's not that creative. The TOA they get went pretty creative, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, it's I don't know. A lot of it, a lot of it is perfect, mechanic. I guess. But it's yeah. also their recent <laughs> creation as well. So I imagine they designed it with the idea of there being tasks there when the task finally came out, right? So mm -hmm. it's like a, a fresh thing a, for them. We had a JMod yep. on talk about the new combat mechanics that they were able to implement. I can't remember how he phrased it though, but they were completely new for raids three. And I think they were also used for the wilderness bosses that just came out. Uh, do you guys remember mm -hmm. what 
Uh, I mean, they, they talked about like the graphics. It was like some stuff. new tech technology yeah. that they were oh, using. Oh, I think you're talking about like insanity and P3. Yeah, and yeah, and... that, yeah, the type of like yeah. animation. So that's stuff. probably why hmm. it's so complex because it's new. And usually when companies, especially RuneScape, does something new, they want to make a point, an example. You know, they want it to go crazy. And it seems like, like they... we innovated our game for the first time, you know, in like two <laughs> years. <laughs> Pretty much. Here it is. Pretty much. Bro. We're using it everywhere now. <laughs> We're cutting, yes, you know, for sure. Yes. Yeah, the wood cutting <laughs> mechanics that I mean, we could touch about that later. Yeah, that will never funny, come man. out and <laughs> broke the game, dude. Yeah, they're like, we try to innovate wood cutting, but it's a little too challenging for us. So uh, sit back <laughs> and uh, wait a bit. Yeah, what, sorry, what, boys, what servers even, are down. Dude, we tried to implement wood cutting. <laughs> what even happened with that? I just woke up to a. Uh, oh, sorry, the beta for forestry isn't happening indefinitely we're not gonna tell you why do you want to dive into what? it a little bit and then we could jump back into the um, yeah, tab like, <laughs> does, does anyone even know though have they like, nah, i don't they, get it they what just said about? like technical difficulties and then that was that's pretty much it well, it, it was the yeah the beta world was causing technical difficulties in the main world so that's why I just closed the beta oh so dude. that wouldn't happen we, i hope they <laughs> give a rundown pretty sure for people who aren't nerds like us uh, forestry is a new woodcutting update. I mean, you got teas, brews, you got different ways to woodcut. You got like a flower mini game. And on June mm. 6, they were going to implement that into a beta world, which I was waiting to try. And uh, they just kept delaying it and delaying it. And the next thing you know, it just said like, yep, sorry, it's not coming out. <laughs> no, we can't implement it. The woodcutting mechanics are too complex for our coding. Uh, it's it's delayed indefinitely. Not even a time date. Just it just gave up. They're it like, ain't no, coming, sorry, bro. I don't, I, I'd <laughs> love to know why. Like I, I want to know right? why. I want an answer. Like what happened? How so complex random. can woodcutting be? What's just the beta. Server, it's just you? the beta that's closed. It's not like yeah. the whole thing is yeah. scrapped. It's just the beta. Like yeah, it's oh, just no, that they can't that's... test it. So they're yeah. still coming out with forestry. I yeah, thought yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good, because yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. it was so crazy. They were just like, sorry, boys, we're just cutting down this part of the Winter Summit. <laughs> the way I understand yeah. it was just the beta that was closing, not like the actual forestry yeah. update. Yeah. <laughs> they made it sound real sad when they said the word in indefinitely. Like, yeah, 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 those yeah. sad words. They said, yeah. they said that they'll try to find a way to showcase what it's going to be like, so that way, like, even without a beta, you know, you kind of know what you're. If they you know, can't what to put expect, it in a but... beta world, though, how much confidence do I have when they're going to implement it for real, right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're going to get yeah, some T-Bow spawns. I think, like Mutt said, though, the issue is more about bringing it into the beta worlds, I guess. But, like, I, I don't I don't know the technical, like, you know, limitations, but, like, Forestry is not, like, a, a isolated minigame. It's actually all across the game. Yeah. Because it affects mm -hmm. all the trees and stuff. And the there game. was, like, this weird... Oh. I don't know if this is forestry or not, but there's like a, me a mechanic with moving where you couldn't run like diagonally across some tiles and some tiles would be dead. Yeah, I think that's and, what was uh, causing issues with the beta. Yeah. So the was beta that. was literally leaking into the main game and causing dead tiles and stuff, it's pretty much. No they could not... I guess so. In layman's terms, let you us know. know something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a lot of weird shit know. happening. You know, a lot of weird shit happening because of that. But yeah, back to mutts on, uh, yeah. on his uh, our course, though. Yeah. <laughs> From forestry to gr becoming a grant master. Yeah, do, Let's do, be do real, though. We got to know. Dude. Expand on some challenging tasks like Fulsani. I think I think I think Fulsani nightmares mm. probably had some had some scary ones. You know. Ah, I mean, Fulsani is scary content, of course. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You've lost the hard. I don't know. Before, so, that is yeah. true. That is true. <laughs> I almost I literally almost forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah, that is way. very true. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, gotta bring... remember, like, this is like, I, I went there, like, pretty much straight away when it's starting to get released. Uh, there was literally no yeah, hardcore like... on the high scores yet. So, like, yeah. I was, like, pioneering it, I guess, but it didn't go very well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was, like, 4KC away from the high scores. I was, like, back then, I was, like, still 50KC for high scores, but, uh... So, yeah. so yeah. how many hardcores have you been through now? Um... That's gonna be a big topic for, uh, a after. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, quite a lot, but I haven't died on one for a long time. I mean, this account is pretty Easy old balls. now. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I've kind of redeemed myself. I mean, it's pretty fitting. Like the name of the account is Tree Redemption as well. Like Redemption, Tree Redemption. Yeah, uh, it worked know, out pretty well. If you guys didn't know the whole tree thing, 
uh for hardcore crime community it's kind of a meme you know like exact did it a yeah. cold one did it when he when he had the hardcore yeah, like a band <laughs> yeah it was a lot of trees so mm. there you go but but where did that all stem Hawaii, from by yeah. the way was it so, a tree fell down on somebody's like line right or something oh yeah it's cold one's house it was a cold uh, one i thought it was a cold one <laughs> yeah rough, oh rough, shit man. okay so that, that's tree. not where it originates from but yeah uh, <laughs> that's that was that was our running yeah. Oh, then where did where okay where where did it originate from then? So well, I I wasn't there myself, but it, it originates from Runefest, where a certain oh, person was oh, hiding the... behind a tree. Oh, uh, fucking that! Yeah. No fucking way. <laughs> I, I, that's I, where I it comes from. That. Yeah. <clears throat> And that sparked the whole tree redemption with the Iron Man community because that guy was hiding behind a tree at Runefest. Yes. <laughs> well, everyone started making tree names. So like, yeah, you know, it, it became was a corny, thing. man. It was like some like there was like some fight about to happen or something. The guy was talking yeah. shit and then he hit behind a tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my yeah. God. So stupid. Do we want to say the name of that person or are we just going to fucking gloss over that chapter? Yeah, I, I would I, I would say I, I don't know too much about it. So uh. yeah, I don't remember who it was, but it was someone. I just remember that... seeing the pictures on Twitter, bro. He's just, just fucking chilling. Yeah. Uh, that's ah, it's probably better to not give it any attention. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Yeah, will just like the tree meme is the tree meme. That's all we got to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The origins are hidden. I, I truly <laughs> believed it was a, a cold one. I, I feel like that should be the uh, the original story. Too. That'll yeah, be I'd the rewritten story. Yeah, I, I, like I think that. that's that's more of the modern day revision. You know? Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, make it deep, dude. Speaking <laughs> of dying on hardcores, what during this grandmaster task? What are the closest times you came to dying? Great question. Ooh. Um, top ten, <laughs> top ten. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. actually, I had some close calls in TOA. Um, I'm not sure if they were really going for tasks though. I did, um, I did the transmogs and stuff as well while I was at TOA, so that was pretty scary. So I kind of did that. I kind of integrated that with my tasks, but um, yeah, yeah I had some scary the, moments. Uh, challenges. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember one one I remember very well. I was doing a duo with Chris Keys. I believe it was for the one of the transmogs. I think Kefri, I think. And um we were on Arca and you know the Simon Says, right? And we had I think we had five um quadrants that were lighting lighting up. And I remember this very well because I was like very low on supplies and I was sitting on like 70 HP or something. Who shot? And, I, it was already a bit was shaky going into the Simon Says, but then like the the last tick, I guess, before the um, Simon Says would start popping off, before it would like send you into a quadrant, um, we got a tick lag. So essentially, what happened is the last quadrant lit up and it instantly went. So there was no time to react because the server lagged for a tick and that tick was actually skipped. So it lit yeah. up and it instantly damaged us. And I, for some, somehow I got the teleport after getting hit once. So it was, it was an insane teleport. Uh, <laughs> so you would have died? That's the one I, I would have, yeah. I would have died. Yeah. I was yeah. in the wrong quadrant and <laughs> it would have hit me. It would have died. It would have killed me. Yeah. yeah it, it that was, like that was really crazy. Each time. So yeah. It's a so, little yeah. bit of lag, bro. Yeah, Just crazy. sneeze yeah. on that router. You, you gotta, you gotta see Mutz's reaction time to the, to the tap. To the teleport tab, yeah. he's, he's fucking fast, bro. He's the fastest clicker. Uh, I got a lot of practice. He's a tele then. Yeah, he's the fastest tele tabber in the West, man. Like I've seen, yeah, I've I, seen him. Seen with if, if, if there's one of my qualities as a hardcore, I'd say that's probably one of my best ones. Like the reaction yeah. speed of knowing when to get out, like when to abort mission. I think that is. Probably my main quality. That's probably why I'm still alive on the current account. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, like the you remember that fucking uh, the crocodile boss in TOA? You know, you were just yeah. like not on. He was not behind the rock, right? When oh yeah, he was yeah. About to send that I wave saw attack. that. You know, no. the, in the wave attack, his three times in a row for like forties, right? This no. man literally take like the first like one and a half, and then he still somehow realized and instantly tab like right yeah. right on time right before he died <laughs> i completely forgot <laughs> about crazy. that one i won't lie yeah <laughs> that you brought it up like there yeah yeah no, yeah no, that, that was like, that was crazy yeah that's casual shit you know he's like oh i'm about to die tell you know like every time <laughs> <laughs> like one of the things that helps me with that a lot is game sounds like i feel like game yeah, sounds are so God. underrated sometimes and like game yeah. sounds really help me so much um 
for living on my hardcore because but sometimes I'm not paying full attention and it's just game sounds that are like, wait, I'm getting damaged by something or like something is hitting me. Like I'm, I'm hearing it. Uh, and yeah. that some, sometimes the sound cues are so important to me. Like, like that's what makes me it, react and teleport. Literally much like time freezes for him in that moment. And then he remembers all the 10 uh, hardcores that died. And he's like, not this time. And then he just teleports right away. <laughs> 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 seen from Avatar, bro. Have you, have you seen this shit? We yeah. go in the Avatar state and he talks to like all his uh, ancestors. <laughs> that's just his ancestors that are hardcore do. accounts, like, bro. That's really it, bro. The pain and suffering from those deaths and trained his hands and no. It trained him, bro. It trained him. Board mission. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, right. It's beautiful, dude. Have, I gotta wonder. So you're a great telly taver, is what we're learning. Have you witnessed another one of your hardcore friends die because they were not so great? Like I'm sure you PVM with a lot of hardcores, right? Not necessarily. No, no. I mean I watch <laughs> but he, he streamers, knows, but he knows, right? you know. Uh, I mean, there's times where I'm like, okay, I would have definitely telly here, for example, like when I watch someone. But eh, maybe not. Maybe not too much, but I feel like there's not too many hardcores that are actually doing really dangerous stuff. At least not on stream. I, I, I don't know. It's I know a lot of people have been playing more hardcore recently, which I love to see. I think that's really cool. Um, there's been a bit of a of a hype again for hardcore, which is sweet. I think that's also because of the new teleport thing coming out pretty soon. I hope as well, like the one that will automatically teleport you if you don't have any like server input. Oh yeah, I'm very excited huge. for that one. That's huge. That's gonna be really cool. Wait, let's get let's get into that a little bit more. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm done. <clears throat> spread the um, light, bro. Is that is so that all the info? Or? I'm not sure in what like in what form it will come into the game. People have been talking about the ring, or maybe the teleport crystal that already exists for like TIB and stuff. But essentially, the idea is that if you don't have any server input for a certain amount of time, that you will just get teleported out. Um, and this should be customizable, so you can set the time, the amount of ticks, basically, that you want to um, teleport it out after. You can set that on the item. I mean, you just want and it then... immediately, right? Like, one tick. I, I guess it depends. Well, the thing is, like, if you don't click, then you get teleported, right? I, I feel, wait, I feel wait, like wait, that's wait. how it would oh, work. Oh, no, no, I thought... Well, the way that you were describing it, I would assume you it's all about the internet input. So, like, it's if based on drops... after you click. I guess. Well, I oh. think it's about your input to the game. So, like, if you click oh, a tile okay. and you move, that's an input. It's, or, like, if you say, switch gear, that's know. an input. Okay. I don't know if the coding no. is up to par with being able to... Yeah. Do, yeah. 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 So we'll see how it turns out. But, do, yeah, do, I, do you remember we'll how, how it works. Do you remember how they worded it, Muds? Like, was it worded for um, internet connection, or was it just, like, input, game input? I think, it, I think it's game input. Okay, but okay. I'm, I'm not too... Don't quote me on it, but... That's the way I understand it. And I think it all depends. Like, you can set it yourself, right? You can set the amount of ticks you want to be teleported afterwards. So, like, if I don't do anything for four ticks, I want to get teleported, for example. And I think That's you have to seconds. just, I think there's going to be, yeah, exactly. So, one tick is 0 0.6 seconds. Mm. Um, Rice is like 2.4. The, yeah, yeah, the way I would look at it is so the you got to, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to think about oh, what boy. you're fighting. If you, like let's say the way i would do it is if you're fighting something that attacks every four ticks that's the speed of a whip for example um then you would probably want to set it to like six or seven ticks because that's enough time to not get hit twice that's kind of the way i'm thinking about it so that would be safe enough for you to survive mm -hmm. um but yeah, it really depends what you're fighting of course if you're fighting mm -hmm. something like fasani nightmare <laughs> I mean, you can die Maybe, really fast, so you probably have to set it very low, like even lower than that, um, which will just have to mean that you're going to have to click a lot, which is, I think that's fine. That's a good trade-off, I'd say. Um, like, You're going to get rewarded for um, well, for, for having that on and mm -hmm. making sure yeah, you stay alive. Shit. That's a good trade-off. So, so just, yeah. they're implementing this basically <laughs> to help with prevention of losing status from DCs is effectively the reason, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah. this is shitty servers. Yeah, which is like a a whole reason why Mutt's getting this grandmaster completed is such a huge deal in itself. It's like not even only bigger balls, not before only before the change. Well, before right. the, yeah, yeah, dude. Does it even count? You're gonna be like a Hall of Fame, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. Does it even count Sick. getting grandmaster after the change? But like when you yeah. think of it, it's like this dude had to survive all the way through like you know, TOBs, TOAs, get geared, and then on top of that, 
he then had to do it again for these specific tasks, which is kind of mad to think about. Like, the amount of accounts that have just died and lost their hardcores, I mean, it's one of the main reasons why I don't play on my hardcore. I'm just like, I really don't feel like spending loads of time on this account and then just losing it, you know? it's It would be so demotivating. Yeah, yeah. yeah in my yeah. opinion, it's one of the most impressive accomplishments just because there's only two people that could have done it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> not even close, not even. But I, I had a hardcore, and uh, <laughs> I just never did anything dangerous. <laughs> and people didn't want to watch that shit. Bro. Dude, hurt my <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see me get ninety two hundred, bro? What do you mean? Like, they're like, do a clue scroll. Like, nah, this steps in the wild. Okay, right? so okay. let's ask the reverse question. What, what were tasks that you thought were harder than, you know, were harder but actually turned out to be easier? Oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Well. I kind of want to say hard mode tier B, even though it was really scary for me. I, I give at, so, at some point I really got into the flow of it, and well, honestly, it's like shout out to my teammates, honestly, because they really, they really carried me and they really taught me a lot of things. So that was really good. But I can really like I could, I could smell the improvement or smell like I don't know. I realize, I just realized I was getting better at TOA and or the TOA tier B, sorry, and um, just like the pog tanking, like all those stuff adding up i wish i just constantly felt improvement and it was really really nice the start was really scary but it ended up not being pretty bad especially with the way i handled things but um because i played it really safe so there is this mechanic in hard mode tier b um which is the green ball and the green ball is there in regular tier b as well but the idea is to pass the ball you can do that in regular tier b as well but you don't really need to you just you can just tank the hit and take a 74 to the head and just eat after that. But in hard mode TB, the difference is that if the ball is on you and you don't bounce it, you are dead. Like it's it's always gonna be a one shot. Um that that's obviously very scary for me. And uh, so you're forced to pass it. But what I did is I didn't pass it, I just teleported out. <laughs> so I, <laughs> yeah, I kind of brute chance. forced it in that way, but yeah. I'm happy I did, I guess. The thing is, we were kind of doing it. We're doing a method which is called the pock tank, which is you're running around the boss, keeping it in a stationary position um, on the enraged phase. So that when when the tornadoes come out, that's the enraged phase. It'll increase Versic's attack speed, and basically there is a method where you run around the boss and make sure it keeps stationary in that one spot, which how, makes it very easy. How to... do you do that, by the way? If you don't mind me asking, because I'm trying to do um, that my, myself at the moment, and I'm trying to. So it out. the idea of it is that you run under the boss the moment that Verzik attacks, so like like, like oh, you right would normally before. do with tanking, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um, so in that moment you run under and you instantly click the bosses again, which is a red X. So because it's a red X, that means Verzik cannot move. Um, and then you run to the next corner, and then you run under again on the tick that the attack will be, mm -hmm. and you click the boss again, which again is a red X, so it cannot move. And you just keep doing that, it's it's a perfect 5 tick cycle. So, because Verisic attacks every 5 ticks, so you can just keep doing that, and repeat and repeat. And the good thing about it is that you can just sync up with your teammates and be on the exact same towel every time. And that's going to be the way to pass the green ball, basically, because you can sort of guarantee in a way that you won't tank it to the face. Okay. But it, it it requires a lot of like confidence and I guess a lot of practice with your teammates because you gotta sync up and uh, you gotta trust your teammates not to leave. That's also a thing. So yeah, <laughs> but it's uh yeah, it's really uh, it's really interesting. It's it's really satisfying as well. And you get it down. It's like oh, but, but you doing it, you know. If you get the green ball. Yeah. So, so like yeah, even yeah. though I was doing the thing most of the times, like there are times where I wouldn't get it. Like I wouldn't get into the cycle or I wasn't synced up with my teammates, yeah. for example. Thanks for the best. For sure. <clears throat> but like even the times where I was, I I just didn't feel comfortable passing it because I know like okay, what what if you know what if, what if my teammates suddenly move away and I'm I'm just dead? Like I <laughs> there is not really a way to no one, fully yeah. guarantee that you that you don't. But that you will pass it basically. So it was just a scary thought. I had I, I had barely I had barely done any hard mode TOB before this account, basically. Like I'd maybe done like maybe 5kc total over all my accounts. 
So I had to learn from scratch pretty much. Like obviously I was well, very well versed in, in regular TIB, but Harmony TIB as a hardcore, it's a whole different thing. And the thing that's probably the, the hardest about it is that I had, I had to get such a specific team every time. Like I wouldn't really go with just anyone. Like I had to get these gamers. And if I didn't have these gamers, then I wouldn't be able to do it because I wouldn't trust it and I, it wouldn't be smooth. So that was really, really challenging to constantly get that team together. Or at some point I expanded a little bit. I recruited someone like get them on the team, teach them a bit like how we do things. And it, it was scary because like you're going to have to trust the new person again. Uh, but uh, yeah, but they yeah. were like they were god gamers themselves yeah i mean all the all the people that i did hard mode with they were big big gamers so like shout yeah. out to them honestly because i wouldn't be a gm right now if it wasn't for them so uh, in yeah terms really of, cool in terms of time what do you mm -hmm. think was the longest task that took you to complete um well definitely the hard mode top i guess because like you need to get 50 kc for it um, if we don't count that because it's a KC task, it's a bit bit weird, I guess. I mean, how, um, how long did that take? And then how long for like one specific task outside of KC requirements? Outside of KC, um, probably the uh, insanity on TOA. I did that one took me quite long, especially because I have to go through all the way through the raid. Yeah, yeah. Just like what twenty plus minutes every time, and so, so that one took very long. I feel. Do, do you know how long it took? Was it like a week of game time? Was it like a few um, days? Like in game time or like just just days? I mean, in, in game maybe. time, if you know it, if not, just days. I, I don't know. it. No, I, I think it, it probably took me like, I want to say like four days of trying it, mm. probably. Mm. Yeah, I was kind of mixing it up a bit because like sometimes I wouldn't have a duo of partners. I would just do some solos for purples because at that point I was still missing the Missouri buddy. I was still like going for purples there as well, which was kind of was kind of mm -hmm. cool, I guess. The funny thing is though, like with all my all my tasks that I did at TOA, I didn't see a single purple for anyone. Like it's kind of <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, dude, oh, I, I'm going through That's that right actually... now, where it's just like, man, please just reward me. Just yeah. for something, well, I've wasted so much time on this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, like the transmogs as well. The trans I didn't see a single purple on those either. Like those are high level rates, so they have a very good chance to give you something. So it's mm, kind of yeah. crazy that you didn't get anything on all those. So that for, is for, true. for the 50k C uh hard mode TOB, how long did that yeah. take you to do? Was it like a month Oof. or something? But like it's like two months or something. It really like took uh, that long, yeah. 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 Jesus Christ! Just waiting for the right people to be on, you know, fifty yeah. times. that's really tricky. I mean, that's that's the trouble with like some of the tasks, and it's like, mm -hmm. I I don't really know. There's a part of me that feels like it's a good thing because it's kind of like, okay, well, it almost forces you to basically like network and become friends with people, mm -hmm. and then yeah. at the same time, it's like, but then the tasks where like somebody else failing isn't a reflection of you necessarily failing yourself right it, yeah. it's like it's like the mm -hmm. story as old as time when it comes to games where you have to rely on other people it's like like league of legends it's you know Ugh. it's like you, <laughs> can, you can be really good and make no mistakes and then mm -hmm. somebody on your team team just makes a stupid error and it's like I think... it's done for you as well stupid error you mean a guy going zero and ten mid lane to a pantheon <laughs> oh, dude every game mid pantheon All right, bro sorry. pantheon's kind of pog though man not gonna lie that's basically I, Akka. Um... By the way, Mint, if you can't remember what yeah, true, is. True. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's all coming together right up here now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I would say teamwork is is I think it's an important qualification. The you know, work. to grandmaster just because like even in like IRL, you know, let's talk about sports, right? Like a lot of sports, you know, you can't make it by yourself. It's just you know what I mean. Yeah. Like it's a team effort a lot of times. So, yeah. so you call yeah, it yeah, this an esport. It feels like an eSport. I mean, he literally was training someone. Like, Dad sounds like an eSport right there. He's got to train someone to help his ass. That's, that's crazy how <laughs> yeah, complicated right? yeah. this It's an MMO, goes. so I feel like, you know, if, if, like uh, a qualification that makes you a, a good PVM or, or you know, it's, it's how good you are with team, team stuff, you know, too. Yeah. Because, like, you yeah. can be a great solo PVMer, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're 
you know, Grandmaster, you know? Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, so. I agree, but I think 8 Man is a bit overboard. Yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like yeah, that. Yeah, I think they, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's interesting good. to do an 8 Man. Like, don't get me wrong, you wouldn't normally do that, right? So, like, that's yeah. cool, but. I feel like good putting such a time on it in that case that was really uh that's something yeah that's more of yeah. a networking skill than uh yeah than yeah like pvm skill i i would I, say yeah. dude, Eight I, man's I, wild. i'm, I'm <laughs> basically done i'm done with doa now but i have mm -hmm. three tasks left and they're all speed run times with teammates so it's just like yeah dude it, I, i've been it's it's been a week now and like mm -hmm. every single day i'm like 8 p.m tonight boys who's going to be online. And then there's yeah. like six people that are like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the other, <laughs> it's just like, there's always something. And yeah. Then it's just, yeah. oh my God. It's so hard trying to get people online. Yo, trust me, yo, network with Kobe, uh, Kirby, uh, Mega Kirby. I know. He I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I think that's oh. what I'm going to do. And like, but, you know, there's a part of me that feels like it's, it's annoying, but I do at the same time feel like, okay, well, it's nice that you have to like get to know people in order to mm -hmm. do this. I mean, we've because had I'm... him on in the podcast, so we'd be like, "Hey, mate." I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I will, I will reach out to Kirby, but like the thing is, like when it comes to relying on other people for tasks, it's like it's mm -hmm. just one of those things where most of the stuff in the game nowadays you do on your own. It's like I feel so yeah. accustomed now to just doing stuff on my own and occasionally doing stuff with people, but I never feel the need. To be like, yeah. I need you to help me with this. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. it, it's a different kind of feeling. Like it just it just it you just also got strange. Yeah, you also got to think like we are content creators, right? And we even have it difficult to get a team. So like, imagine someone right? that's not a content creator. Like I, I just oh that's the way gosh. I look at it, and I'm like, whoa! Like it's got to be very difficult. I know so many people, and and yet I struggle to get a team together. So yeah. yeah. It, Looking at it, opinion. it's like wow. They kind of like they put a big oh, requirement oh, on now this. Now my alarm will get started. In my opinion, <laughs> I think they should have like a, a a thing in the in the like actual combat achievements. Oh my god! Yes, like, Ooh, like, they can, like like the PvP like, arena a about. post. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a post for eight man TOA or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like yeah. team tasks posting or something right yeah, yeah. so that way nice. you know people can be like oh oh wow this guy's you know hosting he's got like seven people yada yada you know bro that PM is me, such right? a good idea yeah, that is such a good idea <laughs> difficult, why haven't they done that oh my god bro it's like this this task <laughs> is driving me mad like it's just in my head all the time and it's not that i can't do it it's that i physically yeah. can't get enough humans to join me it's just like yeah. oh bro and it's it not just for me. that task there's there's quite a lot of team tasks so they really mm -hmm. need a team task they, like they board, need to do that you know? that's such a good idea if they had like a board where you can register or advertise that kind of shit and then and people can apply in, for it bro you know, that would built be built into the menu that'd be easy yeah, you know because that, that way be you can you can check it anywhere you know you are you don't have to go to a specific place because that's how annoying but like you can just click on your combat tasks section and then Click on like team recruiting section or something, you know. Right. And oh, let's you know around. we already have a we already have a page with just grouping, right? The the one of the mini games and stuff where yeah. you can teleport to. Yeah, they can. Like, they can literally they could there. literally just put them there and like all the there tasks specifically, all the team tasks specifically, and you can just join the chat and be like, "Yo, I'm doing this." Like but, that would yeah, be. I feel like, like, could already do that yeah. right now. They don't need to do yeah. any updates or whatever. Like they could literally just add them do, there. Do you know what? I feel like that chat. would. That would also help in, with a lot of stuff. It would potentially elevate yeah, raids there'll be from some people right that'd now. be down to just help out with that for free, you know? Because I like, know some mm -hmm. people just love just doing that. They just I mean, run yeah. around and you could around. You could set it, for example. So, so like, uh, well, when I played World of Warcraft many, many years ago, we're talking like six, seven years ago, it's like, and I don't know if it's changed since then, but a lot of the time it would be like you do a raid and you would either get accepted or declined based upon what the level of your gear is. So they could imply mm -hmm. something like that. So it's like, you don't get time wasters. It's like, you can't apply for it unless you have these tier 90 weapons or something like that, right? You have to uh, basically pass like a checklist in order to even get through to like the, the pick. Like that is such a good idea. And it would be so convenient for people you know, and, and like, hey, here's the thing. They recently updated the entire Grandmaster, like the whole combat achievements. They changed it to a point-based system because they're yeah. clearly wanting more people to get involved. And it is amazing yeah. content. But unfortunately, there's just some things that are very, like, rigid about it right now that need smoothing out. And, like, I think that trying to get 
you know, groups of people together in a very easy to find format, which yeah. hugely changed. That would help massively. Sure. Yeah, I feel like I, I'm I learning so that. much I about these tasks, dude. You need leadership, <laughs> charisma, skill, strategy. If you're hardcore, you can't over greed. I feel like Mutt's is very good at that. He has a strategy. He doesn't know how to, he knows how to not greed. For me, I'd be <laughs> greed now and just die. Well, first most task. importantly, charisma. Charisma. Yeah, you do leadership, oh, yeah. right? You're not going to be able to get I don't have a lot of rings. Role. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> but there's like so many things you need. It's not just PVM skill. And then on top of this, we haven't even covered yet the wilderness, right? Mm. As a hardcore yeah. Iron Man, you have to do the whole wilderness on top of that. Uh, and honestly, what was scary about doing a wild task? Like what, what made you fearful? Um, so, so this is like going back to like at the actual beginning of me going for Grandmaster, I guess, even though that wasn't really the goal back then. But the one thing that was keeping hardcore from even attempting to get far into the combat achievements was the wilderness tasks. So that's kind of where it all started. Um, because there was tasks on medium, I believe, maybe even easy. I'm not, I don't think so. I think it was medium, hard, and maybe elite that had wilderness tasks on them. And this was before the wilderness rework for me personally. Um, so you had to kill like Callisto, Vetion, Scorpio, Venonatus, uh, Chaos Elemental, Chaos Fanatic, just the other one, I guess KBD as well, and uh, Crazy Archaeologist, those other ones. Um, so this is back in the old wilderness, which, I mean, I guess it was fine. The only scary one was Vetion, because that was all multi. Yeah. And that was really scary, because, like, that's well, that was such a hot spot for clans. Like, people would just hop around, and you would just be dead. Like, if you got caught, you would be dead. There's no surviving that. Um, so that was the real scary one. I was pretty much done with Venonatus already, because I started off my account killing Venonatus for a dragon pickaxe back then. Which is another story, but <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, that's that's where I originally uh, like released the account. Like it was kind of a secret account for the longest of time until I got my dragon pickaxe and I uploaded my first like proper YouTube video. That and, was uh, smart, man. That was, it was that was that was smart. a pretty cool video as well because I had yeah. a tank test on that on that uh, video as well. I got like a full uh, singles team on me, which was pretty scary. I was like level eighty combat or something with my my black D item, my uh, fire staff, like. <laughs> Down to the wire. <laughs> that is insane, My bro. So boy. you weren't doing this at max combat. So no, no, no. This, this, uh, start well, the account. This, as this is strategy. like the start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like we're talking about combat achievements. This is there was a whole different object, uh, uh, whole different story. But uh, mm -hmm. we'll go back to the combat achievements now. Um, but yeah, Vetion was scary. Um, there was a method where you would range Vetion, which is like no one would range Vetion, right? But you could range it with a bofa from far away and. It would be very slow, but you were like two ticks away from getting into singles. Like it's like I think it was like six thousand something away or four tiles. It was, it was very close, and um, so you could lower it the normal way, and then uh, you could like run pretty far away and bow fire it from a distance. You would still be in multi, but you would be a few steps away from singles. So if someone would log in and somehow attack you, you could just be in singles in no time. So it'd be very difficult to die still. Um, so that was that was the way I did it as well. It was it was really really scary though. I had to log out so many times because of people logging in. It was just it was very nerve wracking. I was it was really scary. And you know oh, another one was Scorpia because Scorpia, Scorpia oh insane. man. So like technically you should always be in combat at Scorpia, so you wouldn't be able to log out. And it's in like fifty plus wilderness, right? So there's no teleporting, um, which would mean if you get caught, you are a dead man. Um, but some genius people came up with a way where you could be out of combat and kill Scorpio, um, which is what I did or attempted to do. I will say I kind of messed up a lot and still got in combat. But uh, mm -hmm. the idea is that you have like four alt accounts in the room tanking all the little scorpions. So, you know, there's all these little scorpions attacking you with ranged. And then there's Scorpio that is you that, have to kill. Is that the bare minimum to get all the uh, the scorpions or something? Um, yeah, so there's one for each quadrant of the room, basically, that'll, like, aggro all of them. There's, like, a mm. specific way for aggroing them, because if you're, like, too far away, they'll de-aggro and stuff like that, so you have to yeah, really yeah. kind of know mm. what you're doing. 
But um, so the so the idea is that all the alts are tanking the little scorpions, and then your hardcore account will just be able to run around freely through the middle. Um, so you'd have to camp the middle line and freeze Scorpia and just make sure you keep running away before it gets unfrozen. Um, and then freeze it again and move. Well, obviously you can get unlucky by by splashing, but um, most of the times you would just be able to be out of combat. And yeah, you just kill it and. You keep going and you, have, you just keep the logout button ready at all times. So luckily, I didn't have to log out at once, but yeah. Is this nice. is this like fairy crafting that you came up with yourself, or like no? Where, where did you find that information? Um. So originally, Exact did a lot of Scorpia on his hardcore pure, so that's where I got my information from. I DM'd him, be like, "Yo, I know you did a lot of Scorpia, Tell and I know there's a, I know there is a method for it." So are you willing to share it with me? And he's like, yeah, I uh, got this uh, like streamable for you. And uh, I just studied it and like be like, OK, I got to get to this towel. Um, but I think that's like very long ago. And then so I kind of knew how it was going to go down. And then uh, another people, another person in, in the hardcore community that's like kind of fear your craft of these methods is scowled. And he gave me like the real details of the whole method. Um, like what do you have to do, where do you have to move, and how do you like keep those little scorpions aggroed? Um, so he gave me the real like in depth stuff. Like exact gave me the idea of like knowing how to like what I'm supposed to be doing, I guess. And then Scout gave me like the real in depth stuff of where where to go and um, what to do. Now I still messed it up a lot of the times, but <laughs> I oh, mean yeah. it was it was it was somewhat safe. I think it's, it's fair... mind blowing though. Yeah. Sorry, Rixie. It, it's mind blowing though that you were able to accomplish all this on top of you know the TOA and all that stuff. And to get for yeah. those who don't go in the wild, Scorpia is the deepest wilderness PVM monster. And not on top of that, you have to be in a lair. So if someone finds you, yeah. you yep. got to run out the lair, and then you're still in multi for I imagine a good 10, 15 seconds of running. So you're caught. You're dead if there's more than yep. one person yep. and, yeah um, <laughs> just from this yep. conversation alone i think that like hearing all of this like pre-planning that went into everything you've done like the Every amount day. of due diligence you've done on your behalf to ensure like the least the least likely chance of dying mm -hmm. is yeah. like i think that in itself puts you in the fucking hall of fames dude because like Bro, you know the amount of people that have hardcores and they'll be like, yeah, I want to do the fucking Scorpio boss, but ah, screw it. We'll just, we'll just hope for the best. Just pray nobody comes in, you know, just yeah, yeah, hope yeah. nobody checks. Whereas like you're, mm -hmm. you're there like fucking four alt accounts in there tanking all the little minions and then you're killing the boss. Like, dude, that's, that's crazy. Like the, the level yeah. of effort and research you've put into that is like a step. I feel like a lot of, yeah, I feel like a lot of other people would take people with them to to be the alts basically but i actually played all the accounts myself <laughs> so i had six, i had i had six clients opened because oh uh there is my hardcore and then there is the alt that sets up the kill and also scouts outside to make sure that when someone logs okay, in i know that plug out. Yeah. and then there's four alts in the cave still to like uh aggro the scorpion so i had six clients opened which was like overwhelming because like my whole screen was like filled with, with clients Bro. and so i had to pay attention to everything i had to make sure all my accounts stayed high prayers so i wouldn't really like uh, die on my alts and uh i had to make sure that my alt was still logged in and like scouting for people and i had to make sure that i wasn't getting hit by scorpio so i would not be able to log out so like there was so much going on and the reason for it really is i don't really I, I, maybe not Maybe trust is not the right word. I just don't want my my status to be in the hands of other people. So like, I want to be fully responsible myself. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. It's not that I don't trust people. It's it's more like I don't want to be depending on someone else. Uh, mm -hmm. So I want to be in control myself fully. Like, what if what if like one of my teammates just jokingly shoots me like one time, and then at that moment. Right, that moment someone logs in, and it's like, wow, well, now I'm screwed because I can't log out. It's just stuff like that. Like, I don't really want to so, take the risk what, in that way. I just want to be in control myself. What we're getting down to in this therapy session are your trust issues, buddy. So, where did this stuff <laughs> from? Major paranoia. <laughs> yeah, it comes of a hardcore in the wilderness, dude. Also, uh, for Scorpio, there's a mechanic you, you probably know it that if you're poisoned, 
the small spiders yeah. don't actually mm. attack you. So Dude. in the cave, someone could be poisoned and log into you and kill you. And I yeah. kill people like that. So if I was switching around, yeah, I might have just <laughs> yeah, that, that, cheap, that, that definitely is the scariest thing. Like people <laughs> logging inside of the cave. That's the really the scariest part for sure. Yeah, it's a very yeah. hidden mechanic. It's Scorpius mm -hmm. super dead, but there's always the possibility that there's yeah. something you cannot control. And sure. it seems like the amount of variables in, in getting where you got to, there was a mm -hmm. ton of them, a ton of things that you, were still out of your hands, no matter how much you could yeah. strategize. That could have ended yeah. the whole whole series. For sure. Dude, yeah. I mean, like just hearing you describe the Scorpia grind alone, like I, I just want you to know that that as a video on YouTube, if you were to like put that together well and produce it, would right. be really, really entertaining to watch. I, I think that people would genuinely love to see stuff like that when it's like in such detail. Like, did you make a video out of that at the time? So yes, that was like my first like properly. Well, I say properly, but the the first video that I put real effort into, like actual editing. Mm -hmm. um that's the wilderness video it actually is like a movie pretty much it's like one hour 10 minutes i think or wait how long is it let me check oh no one hour and 41 minutes long Damn. the video it's got actually it's my most viewed video on youtube it's like 81k views it's uh that's really good wait that, was that your that was first like, one do you say yes that, that was like my first proper video and what that that is Bro, yeah, that would that it's kind of mind blowing still that it has that many yeah. views. Yeah, but dude, that's, dude, like, my, that's like it was it was one level. of its own, you know. Like no one has ever seen stuff like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that's like I'm just thinking like because I'm doing the Grandmaster stuff myself right now. Mm -hmm. It's been quite a challenge for me to like figure out the formatting. I found it really difficult because my usual kind of videos are you know make an account, progress the account, make money, and there's yeah. very clear milestones of progression. Yeah, but when it comes to mm -hmm. like niche things like this like with a grandmaster for example it's less about yeah. the destination and it's way more about the journey and overcoming hurdles yes. so it's like just hearing you describe your your fairy crafting on scorpio like that sounds like mm -hmm. it would make an amazing video i'm not surprised that did well that's great yeah yeah really cool yeah i i, I actually didn't cut anything from the scorpio part i think i just sped it up a lot so like it would still all be there but like uh yeah, I think I put all of the Scorpio kills in because of like how crazy it is, kinda. Yeah. It was really uh really cool. That's definitely unique. Yeah. Yeah. For for sure. Now that, that's kinda also what got me like into really wanting to try YouTube. Because well originally my, my channel was just for when I went into the wilderness, I really can't really stream it. It's not really viable to do that. Yeah. So like my YouTube would be there for wilderness stuff because then I would still be able to share it in a way. I wasn't really like planning to do YouTube like properly. And then like at some point I was like, bro, I should just like make a Road to Grandmaster series as a hardcore, like that would be so cool. Now I'm kind of, I'm in a way I'm kind of sad that I didn't do that from the start because I think that would have been cool like all the mm -hmm. way through. But mm -hmm. essentially the Road to Grandmaster is just going from master to grandmaster. So but I think that's, cool enough because that's like the, the big part right bro mm -hmm. do it all again yeah I was just saying, there's, there's always a second i have been thinking bro. about it i have been thinking about it well you know what do it to on do. a pure bro do it on a pure well you yeah. actually you actually could though man like obviously no take way as, take as no long you as can you need to. no 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 sorry i mean I'm, to... I'm talking about you just doing oh. the series again from oh scratch. right i yeah. think that would be cool yeah yeah you you can't do it from a, a pure but do you want to explain to the the audience why that is well, there are some of the tasks that require certain quests, like you need to kill Vorka, for example, which requires Dragon Slayer mm -hmm. 2, and that will give you defense XP. So that's that's double that we restricting you. I think you can you can most likely get master, I feel. Yeah, uh, I, think I think that's you could. I possible. Think, yeah, I think people have, yeah, with the way the new You can go for works. the you lowest can get... combat hardcore Iron Man Grandmaster. You can get Grandmaster on a Zerker though. I'm I'm fairly oh, certain hmm. I've seen some stuff yeah, about that on Twitter so. or something. That'd be yeah, cool. I believe so. Yeah. That's possible. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That yeah. Is very now cool. there is Inquisitors though, so like that, it's it's like you still have access to like some of the best gear, even with Mazori being out. You can still wear the non-fortified Mazori as well. So like there's definitely good gear that you can wear even as a Zerker. Yeah, I mean you get the weapons too. Yeah, just missing prayer main like main mainly in some What's... other. Yeah. What's the requirement to oh, yeah. wear a Slayer helm? Is it twenty defense? 
I think it's 20, 10 right? or something. Or is right. it, or is it less? 10? Yeah, 10. 10. So you could yeah, effectively... I think there's like 13 defense pairs. Yeah, you could effectively make one of those and have yourself the uh, the Verzik helmet, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You know? True. Like it's not it's not the Zuck helmet, but the Verzik helmet's like really cool as it is, you know? Mm-hmm. It'd be kind of prestigious on one of those um like defense locked accounts. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, now that you have beat this I mean, an incredible obstacle. We gotta ask, what is next, bro? What do you what do you got planned, man? Is it bigger? Is there something that could be bigger, right? The game's gotta update. There might not be. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I still got goals from my current account. I mean, well, that this the achievement itself was just insane. Like I didn't I wouldn't say I didn't expect myself to be at this point, but it's still very overwhelming, you know, like just the fact that there were so many people that were interested in the whole thing. And there are so many people watching me when I got the, uh, the Zuck helm in the first place, that was so very overwhelming. And the amount of support I got, like, I remember teleporting to, uh, to Birththorpe and there's just an ocean of people waiting for me there. I'm like, whoa, whoa this is sick. Like that, that's so, so cool. Like such an amazing experience. And it just, that's so motivating as well. It's like, wow, bro. Like so many people are appreciating this and, that's so sick that i'm getting so much love for this and that just motivates me even more to even go further than i am i am already and well like you said like what's next uh i still have some goals i'm currently mixing my account so that's one thing that's the main focus at the moment um i'm currently mining amethyst actually so i'm actually not xp wasting even right now uh (laughs) but um i i want to get a void waker which is Probably the most interesting Ooh. thing that uh, that's on my goals list. People have been like constantly asking me, "Oh, what's your goals?" And then I say Void Waker. I'm like, "Oh, no way! You're going for a Void <laughs> Waker, dude." It's like, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the that's uh, yeah. The flowers. Yeah, Fuse already showed us how to not get a Void Waker. <laughs> I saw but, that tweet. Fuse is like, "Hey guys, gonna start my hardcore Iron Man Wilderness grind." Ten yeah. minutes later, I see a fucking picture of his head in Lumbridge going, it yeah. was fun, boys. I'm like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And it lasts long, did it, bro? Oh, damn. Yeah. That's Dude. the painful side that you don't see, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. not everyone can, can uh, be yo, this. He, he, uh, uh, look, look, he died so you mm-hmm. can walk, man. You know? A- apparently, mm-hmm. I killed Fuse because <laughs> I didn't <laughs> know this. I didn't know this, because, but like, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. He said, you know, I was watching your stream, right? When I died, I was like, wait, you did? I had no idea. Because I remember him saying in my chat, bro, I just died on my hard crime. I'm like, no, you didn't. You're, you're li- I-, I thought he was trolling. I didn't uh... think he was being for real. And then apparently it was actually on that right moment that he just died. Like, it was kind of crazy. I didn't know that. But he, he was watching my hard mode top stream. And I was doing Nilo, and that's like learning. one of the scariest rooms in the Harmony Top for Hardcore, because you can get you can get killed very easily. So he was he was just so distracted watching my stream that he got TB'd. And like, so <laughs> I'm I'm indirectly the reason he he died. Yeah, he he died I mean, in a solo boss, escape. right? He could still escape mm-hmm. though. You know, oh yeah, no, he had so many chances to escape. I was it was I, kind yeah, of painful he, watching he it, but. Kept freezing when the guy had flowers and he showed the flowers so early on in the fight uh, i mean I that's think, that's fine though i think like the fact that he's flowers is fine and fuse was fuse knew what he was doing in a way but he just kept messing it up even though he he was like dd'd under underneath the pk and he was able to get the log out and he was he was like doing it fine like running walking with the flowers as well and then like for some reason he just does an extra walk here to, and then he just Kind of ruins it for himself, basically. It's got the time, though, because like sometimes you don't really know if like the guy's gonna keep doing it. Oh, yeah, he, he yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have probably just, I would have probably, I would have panicked. Kind of booked. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, obviously there was a lot of, that. Yeah. obviously there was a lot of nerves involved. Like, yeah. you, you can't. It's always like hindsight. Oh, yeah, like I would have done this better. Like, but no, but like there's, you yeah. don't realize there's so much on the line at that moment, and you're under so much stress at that point because yeah, you think... know, like, oh, my maxed hardcore right now with all these items. It could be over if I make a mistake yeah. here. Like the, the extra pressure of that, that makes you really like you you could potentially underperform because of that. And that's yeah. Uh, it's just a panic of that happening. Yeah, I don't think I, he was ready for those flowers, man. You know? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. think he was. It's it's yeah, funny he probably needed a little bit more practice. He, dude, he dies to this. So I, I like Fuse, though. We actually hung out at Twitch. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know it was him. We were just having such a great time. A couple hours later, he's like, you know I'm Fuse, right? I'm like, oh shit, what's up, bro? Like I didn't know we were just hanging out. And but the 
solo bosses are 100 percent safe if you have a yeah. scout you cannot die because they have to go through your scout to attack you so this man shouldn't have even gotten attacked in the first place unless he wasn't using a scout which mm, respect yeah bro. he's not scouting well, on a hardcore he was like definitely that. scouting but he was distracted yeah it's yeah, so easy it's, 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 it's so easy to not pay attention for like a split second though like if you do like sure if you do if you pay full attention every kill like you cannot die you're right but if you do hundreds of kills there is gonna be a moment where you're not gonna be paying full attention it's didn't inevitably he just gonna happen though? huh did he just start the grind was that day one nah no? he was already quite some kills in i think okay, okay, like okay. I've, I've done a bit of with the worldly bosses already like that's public knowledge so you can just mm -hmm. look up on high scores and see that i have boss cases at the single bosses and like I've gotten complacent a couple of times. I got, I mean, I'm not going to spoil that much, but it's been, uh, it's been pretty close a couple of times. Like I'm obviously going to release that on YouTube at some point, but, uh, nice, yeah, man. he cares are consistent. So they will, mm -hmm. they will uh, over time. Oh, I'm like pretty it. scared now. Cause now it's, I've already announced I'm going for a void waker. So I didn't do that before. And so I'm like, a bit of a bit scared. I'm just going to get camped now, which is going to be very annoying, but we'll see. Yeah, because like if someone takes you down, it's like a, a, a badge of honor, right? And it's funny because oh, yeah. it, it's like not even honorable because they're probably hunting you down of every inch they can, you know, every resource mm -hmm. they're watching your stream. None of that's honorable, but the, mm -hmm. that's what PKers pride themselves on is taking yeah. high level hardcores out of the, you know, they just put your little face on a on a, a mount and stick it up in their yeah. room or something. They just look at it. They just I mean, they I, love I, it. Just no, I'm not gonna make it easy for them because like I'm yeah. I'm wearing like the the best gear possible, so <laughs> it's like I'm gonna be in max tank uh, in all cases, and so it's not gonna be easy to kill me. I know this is like a challenge, but <laughs> do you have PK Sorry? keys in lock? Because you could um you could anti bro. That'd be a video right there. <laughs> I don't have an AGS fire. sadly, but yeah, what? I have claws. There you go. That's free. Or get so... the void waker, and they never expect it. Mutz, do yeah. you do you ever worry? <laughs> just stay there after. Do you, do you ever worry about becoming complacent now that you've completed probably the hardest mm. challenge there is too? Because, you know, there's this, yeah. um, I, I can't remember if it's an old saying, or I think it was a statistic I heard that was like, you're most likely to have a car crash in like the last mile on the way home because you, yep. you're used to that final piece of road and then you just become mm -hmm. like relaxed and, you know, it's like... Yeah, tree you, just yeah it's, yeah it's just one of those things so do you ever worry about that or are you always trying oh. to stay on top of your game um i think the my last hardcore dev really taught me that lesson to like not get complacent obviously i worry about it because I, obviously I've, I've gone the zuck helm which is like the most prestigious thing you, you could probably get right so it's like it's a huge ego boost in that way <laughs> uh it's just like oh right, well i can do anything right it's like that's kind of the feeling you get um but yeah, I think my last hardcore dev with was Fasani. I think that kind of taught me like, okay, well, I can still die. Like I, at the time, I was like, I felt I was invincible. Like I couldn't die in my hardcore. Like it was not possible. I had I had an Elijah spirit shield in that account. So I was like, bro, like, this, yeah, no one's gonna kill me when I have this thing on. I literally died with my Elijah on. Like it's it's like it's it it's gonna happen. Uh, you can just get it can happen at any point. Like my death at Fasani was just a brain fart. My my brain just turned off for a second. I just walked into the Warren Crowder and then I got all the flies on my head and I just <laughs> fell to the floor. It's just like, it's a full on brain fight. It's just fully complacent and you would yeah. never expect it to happen like that. And that's exactly what you're saying. Like at some point you're just going to have that moment. Yeah. Where yeah. I'm constantly complacent. It's going to so happen. Never, I'm constantly that, complacent. Right? <laughs> constantly just somewhere <laughs> else in my life Bro. doing things. Dude. Just complacent yeah. in life, you know? Yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. How, how do you quote. think? How do you think you prevent yourself from becoming complacent then? Because like, I feel like the obvious answer mm. is having really hard challenges to like work towards. But now you're basically yeah. done with that stuff. Aside from potentially getting the Void Waker, um, you know, it's yeah. Like, well, I don't know. Like, how, how do you kind of keep um, yourself from mm. feeling complacent? I suppose. Good question. Yeah. I, um. I think part of it's like setting goals, even though there's like not really a goal at the moment, but like going for like a speed or something like trying to go beat your PB and make sure you're focused because of that. Like, oh, I want to get a faster time than, my, than I currently have. So I'm going to try very hard to to get there and not mess up. Um, yeah. That would be like one thing for sure. Um, or like trying to go for like 
a certain amount of kills per trip, like stuff like that, where you like kind of force yourself to do well. Um, I think that's stuff that really, really help. I think that's also even like when you're doing a grind for like an item or uh, yeah, like let's say you're doing bundles for like tacits um, or chambers for uh, whatever purple, like that's helped me a lot with chambers, for example, like doing solos and constantly trying to improve your PB. Like I was doing a lot of CMs you know, going from a Tebo and it was really fun trying to go fast, like knowing that like, okay, I'm kind of on pace right now. So I'm going to try to get a good time right now. So that's, that we did what, that's what keeps it interesting. You know, like if you, if you go get a lot of white lights for a while, like you're not seeing purples, it's like, well, this kind of sucks. But then if you have other goals, like, okay, I want to get this time because you know, it's cool. It looks cool. Then it makes it so much more enjoyable and it keeps you going. Like it keeps you like, like you could easily give up. Like, oh, I'm like, I'm like 50 dry right now. You know, like I don't want to, Kind of don't feel like doing another eight, but if you keep that other things in mind, like going for a time, that really will help you uh, get through the grind a lot easier. Yeah, is um is KCs and high score something that motivates you at all? Um, yes, I, I think especially now, especially now that I have pretty much all the items in the game and I'm done with my Zuck Helm, I think it's just like going for high scores, like on bosses. That's what's really going to be very cool uh, at the moment. I think that really like solid solidifies your uh, your hardcore being extremely good and powerful and looks really cool as well. Like when you look someone up, like I, I do that a lot. Like when I see someone with some impressive gear, I'm like, oh, are they an Iron Man? And then I like, check the high scores and be like, wow, this guy has so much boss cases. Like that, that's just so cool to see, in my opinion. Like just scrolling through him, like wow, he's like thousand, thousand, thousand. Like they look so clean, it looks so nice. Um, because sometimes you just look someone up and just like, well, this guy has like full torva, but it's like, I don't know, a hundred next case. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> this guy got spooned, man. <laughs> or a main or a main. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I think that's really, really cool. Like I'm currently ranked one in expert TOA, which is pretty sick. Like no one is even getting close. I think a lot of the like top 10, like I think like nine of them are dead or something or <laughs> eight yeah. of them are dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think it's really well. it's really cool, especially like 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 one example is hard mode TAB. Like the high scores for hard mode TAB is pretty much empty. Like not, not there's not even a second page for it. Um, <laughs> it used to be only three people for the longest of time, which is exact on three client is pure hardcore Iron Man with 500 KC. Like that's just that's still crazy to me, yeah, man. Like that is level, so bro. impressive. Mm -hmm. That is so impressive. Like that yeah, alone, that, that's just so cool to see. Like stuff like that, where there is not many on the high scores at all, and you're just sitting there at rank one. It's like, bro, that's like full on chat status, you know? Uh, for, the, for the longest of time, it's only been exact and race food. I think those are the only two for a while. And then I joined them. Actually, yeah, I think so. And then I joined them not too long ago. And now there's a couple more because they lowered the um, lowered the KCs for the um, high scores. So there's a bit more now because it's all easy to get on now. Mm. But um, it's still Is not it a like second what, page. Five or something? Five, ten? I think it's like KC? five or six. Let me Damn, let me quickly dude. check. It's still, uh... well, you know what they say about being at the top? It's lonely. You know? <laughs> there's you six people on there now. Six. So it's Plus. three client. It's, oh yeah, XZN actually, yeah. So he was uh, he was a high end hardcore as well. He's like one of the first to do TOB when I got released, um, and he's on there on place two. Both of them are dead. So like the top two are both dead. One of five hundred and one of eighty. It's like the difference between that five hundred and eighty. Like that's such a big difference, man. Like that that yeah. just shows how <laughs> impressive it was. That exact is five hundred. And he just Actually did it because crazy. he wanted to do it, you know. There's yeah, no yeah, exactly. He just wanted he to just do it. Challenge mm -hmm. himself, bro. That's yeah. the mentality a lot of these people yeah. at the he top of the world like have. A like... Nice little plaque on the on on, on the walls, you know. Mm -hmm. It just That's shows easy. how how awesome you can be, even if there is no one else to push you. Right? We could all push ourselves to be yeah. exact. Hey, except me, I'm not doing that <laughs> shit. That looks <laughs> 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 that looks terrifying, bro. It's too much for me, but. Mm -hmm. And then there, there, there's the goat praise put as well, which is the first hard crime and to grab master. So I'm the second one, but he was the the one who got it first. He's not a content creator though, but um, I think like almost everyone has heard of him though. 
And uh, that's actually always, that's also interesting because there is a way to check whether we are actually the only two of a Zuck Helm right now. And that is purely the hard mode TAB high scores because uh -huh. you need 50kc for Grandmaster. Uh -huh. so it's just us two on there with more than 50kc. That's literally a way to check that wow. there is no other hardcore with it. Yeah, hard mode top. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so what is the highest uh, hard mode TOB KC for a hardcore army? 500. Oh, sorry. But it, it was exact. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. He's just yeah. chilling up there, bro. He's like the Wooks of hardcore. No one is going to touch that, I think. I mean, maybe me, but like I plan to go back for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> well, if you like, touch that, it depends. Like, go it to depends on thousand. RNG. Like, it, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going for the dust at some point. So it's a one in 400. So I'd have to go oh pretty dry, I guess, to beat it, but it's possible. Damn, you're gonna bring him back from retirement, bro. Yeah, dude. I hope he sees you don't pass it. He's gonna be just so disrespectful to pass him. I don't know. Yeah, it's no. Four nine nine. I mean, I mean, speaking of disrespect, I feel like at this point, it's uh, it's a pretty known fact that you've over and surpassed Wooks at this point. I mean, this dude doesn't play <laughs> hardcore, you know? Like, I wouldn't say that. Wooks who, bro? <laughs> Fucking mutts, more like. My guy doesn't have a Zuckham on his hardcore. I Do you reckon... I know that Wooks has kind of stepped away from playing the game a little bit nowadays. Mm -hmm. I think he mostly plays for, like, content releases and stuff. Do you think yeah. that's probably the reason why he hasn't done uh, the similar challenge that you've done, or... It doesn't like, do, like do long know anything time, about this? long I mean, time consuming that challenge is ass, dude. That's probably why no one wants to do. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Wooks, it's Wooks, though. It's also dude. very yeah. time. No, 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 no. Like Wooks but likes still. to. Do... No, the Wooks made it pretty clear that he likes to do challenges that can be like done relatively quick. You know, yeah. he doesn't feel like making a whole whole account just to kind of like chance it and then have to redo it again. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, Rooks is just an inventor, you know. Like he yeah, he, he, he invents, invents yeah. stuff. He he invents new like methods on new bosses, and I don't think he's really interested in a long term thing. Like it's so time. Like I'm gonna check my play my play time right now. 318 days in game. So like that's close to a year, I guess. You know, like that's so much time spent on the account. And you got to remember, he's like a full time job. So uh, at least I think he does. So, oh, he's retired. Yeah, he posts for a living. For sure, yeah. that man probably made like yep. five apps. <laughs> 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 five apps. <laughs> five apps, yeah. and he's done. Yeah. Yeah. Wooks looks like a guy who builds market. apps, dude. Just really good apps, bro. And he's just like, yeah, he codes. Finally, well, so. I, I'd hope that yeah. with a brain like his own, he'd be doing something to like further and better humanity instead of making. So like, you say that, but if you had his brain, you'd be Andy sucking all the money. You wouldn't <laughs> be helping people, right? See, let's be real. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't be. Maybe he makes scooping it up. He can make mm -hmm. his apps and then fund his like charity or some shit. I don't know. Nah, mm -hmm. he, no, no. Spend it how you want. Lose, get that Mercedes Benz <laughs> or whatever you want. Bro. <laughs> fuck, fuck it. Yeah, he makes his Rock own. It. All right, yeah. dude. Screw that, bro. I always, I always joke with uh, Solo Mission about it because he fucking went to university and was he his his tutor was a guy called brian cox so i don't know if you guys know who that is <laughs> yeah he's that guy's and, and it's like bro why are you making runescape videos man like you should be fucking <laughs> pioneering <laughs> space right me? now <laughs> like yeah why, why are you even in this category dude like you've wasted your potential well, the thing, solo's got a lot of time right so he's probably doing something else that's revolutionary on the side right who knows he's probably curing cancer or like He's probably the counting long all of disease. his millions, bro, while he's in Cyprus. That's what he's up to. <laughs> My guy's counting his stacks. <laughs> um, so before we start tangenting, right, uh, on the on the list it says chamber boosting, task boosting. Do you guys want to get into that? I, yeah. It's something Rakesy was passionate so, about. Wait, wait, wait hold I'm on. Aware. One last thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, Just, go for it. You know, on the topic of a lot of time, you know, to make that one account, this is not your only account you know it, it's a it's been a long multi-account journey right you yeah i mean like how many accounts how many hardcores have you made like starting from like how many years ago eight and kind of, i and think <laughs> eight right I think it's so eight, it, it's eight or taken... nine and yeah it's taken when is that streaming like five years ago i want to say so yeah over the course of five years i've had like eight Hardcore, but a lot of them have been like very close in like early game, I guess, like or mid game. Um, I've had like four end game hardcores, I think. Um, one of them died to Army Dominions, and then the second one that was like good died to 
a tier B DC, a DC that uh, very sick. I had my scythe in that account. I was the second hardcore to get a scythe, uh, which is pretty cool. Badass. And I'm always second, bro. I don't know why I'm always <laughs> second. I'm never first in anything. I'll be the first. Yeah. Um, and then there was. Wait, which one is after that? So I've got Nutsmut, and then. I think they're done with Sasani, yeah. And then. Uh... Yeah, you had the LE Tebow. Yeah, LE Tebow. Not Scythe. Yeah, I was not missing. Right. It was six out of seven at TAB. I was only missing Scythe. I was pretty dry for it, but. It, was yeah. it. it is what it is. And then uh, now, now there is Tree Redemption, but yeah. Five years, boys, in was, the making. It's, you know? it's just been constantly like what people ask me, like, why are you remaking your accounts? You're like, especially after the last one, like the one with the Ellie, like, how are you going to pass that account, right? Like, that's, that's, kind of, like, that's kind of the goal always. And, like, I want to pass my previous, like, PB, Dude, I guess, yo, Lutz in was a way. Like, Lutz was like, watch, you know? <laughs> but to be fair, to be fair, I was not expecting to beat my account. I was like, there is no way I am beating this, like, achievement that I got on this account. Like, all these items that I have, I basically have, like, max gear. Now, obviously, TOA got released and, like, Next got released. So, more items got added. So, that kind of changed a little bit. But... Even considering that, like this account is crazy as it is, and uh, I was not expecting that whatsoever. And on top of that, the combat achievements got released, and I did that as well. So I couldn't really ask for anything cooler. Well, actually, there there is one thing that's been that has been kind of talked about a little bit, like what's next, uh, and it's not really confirmed or anything. It's just been, you know, it's been talked about here and there, and uh, that is. Hardcore group Iron Man Zuckhelm. And that oh, is very interesting because that's, that's stepping hard. it up yeah, by a hard. ton. Because hardcore group Iron Man, if you don't know, ever any death, any death is a loss of a life. So if you're a trio, you have three lives, and any death, even in chambers, like stuff that would normally be safe for hardcores, it's all dangerous. Even Inferno is dangerous. So like just Iron imagine King. having to do all that. Six jats. Bro. Also dangerous, like all that kind of stuff. That's so that's intimidating. Fun. Six chats is that, be, that one is and like so many, yeah. Death. <laughs> the the thing is, like everyone's saying, like it's impossible. It's never gonna happen. But I think it is possible. It's just yeah. requiring a very specific team because you got to remember, like you still got to do team tasks, just not those that are not within your team size. So if you do a trio, for example, you don't have to do four man. You don't have to do a five man task. No, like eight, eight man, man TOA. TOA. Yeah, yeah. That, so that, that that is nice in a way, but you still need all the gear on all your accounts to, to get these times. And Real it's pretty quick, it's pretty interesting. How did you do the six Jad challenge? Like, I need to understand how you how you did that because like you can get it's one safe. shot. From... It's safe. Remember that. Oh, is it safe? I thought. Oh, yeah, okay. on the regular hardcore, it's safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I was like. That would be not a hardcore though, on a group. group it's not though. Yeah, that would be a hardcore group. It's uh, no. Oh my goodness, that yeah. would be mad. That makes me sweaty, and I'm not even trying it. Like I just, <laughs> yeah, I know. Makes yeah, me they a they bit. they they can easily one shot your your booty. I mean, not See, a 121, but after that, after that first hit, you gotta just dip. Like, <laughs> like I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine oh, doing oh eight, the eight man speed run with all five of your group hardcore Iron Man like friends there? So it's like. There's five lives on the line. That would be that would be intense. Uh, you don't you don't have to do the eight man task. So yeah. any task, uh, team size task that is outside of your uh, group size. So like if you're a trio, you don't have to do four man tasks, five man tasks, and also not eight man task in that way. Oh, you so mean, those, yeah. you mean like together, deleted. you don't have to. Yeah, because like hardcore well, group is prestige. Yeah, you, yeah, so you can't raid with people outside of your group. Like that's not possible. Oh, so yeah, therefore those tasks just get removed. Um, so, Wait, so it'll so makes it it makes it easier in that way, but also harder because you can't just get carried. You have to go with your own team, so everyone in your team yeah. has to be geared enough to do the time. Wait, so so that that's what makes it get? very challenging. Do you get a different task, or does it just get completed? Sorry, it doesn't count. It's just not there. It's just not there. Yeah. Well, no. right. Yeah. So here's a question: Like, if you were to make a group Iron Man account, is it is it one checked if there's like you could make a group Iron Man account and then just skip that task, go like all in all. Is that mm -hmm. even possible? Yeah. It is, just, they just won't be there. Sorry, I worded that really yeah. poorly. Like, if you were to just make a group Iron Man account uh, with your friends and then just mm -hmm. like DI or not de iron it, but like make it into like a oh. standalone iron, is what I meant. Ooh, I don't you know how that works. You can't become a standalone iron. Oh, no, yeah. you can't become a regular iron. No, no, no. 
I wonder how it works if you no you're in main account. I guess the toss just get edited again. Yeah, yeah. Probably. If you become a normal, it's it just goes back to normal. Okay. Yeah, because like it, it can tell you're not a you're not yeah. a group. Well, I can like, it I only can... matters for prestige uh, group accounts, meaning mm -hmm. meaning that it's an account that it cannot uh, do other things with people not designated in the group. Because if yeah. you're not a prestige group Iron Man, it doesn't really matter. You you can do stuff with anybody. But yep. if you're a hardcore group Iron Man, you're automatically prestige. So yeah. so that means you cannot yeah. raid with other people. I mean, I, your team. I think that would be amazing content, and I think that right now would probably be an amazing time to do it, seeing as how there's been, like, a boom of group Iron Man popularity since, mm -hmm. like, you know, Oda Block and the farmers and stuff like that. It's probably yeah. mainly just content creators, you know, a content creator boom for it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I think, content I think creator boom really starts the wave, you mm -hmm. know. Like, Modi really started the wave for Iron Man, and now look where we are. It's uh, yeah, virality waves. Man. Maybe. Very, yeah. very interesting to see how that works, bro. I just and, feel yeah, like who... with group content, it's a bit harder because people, you know, like they start for a week and then someone's got to like go, you know, and that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. the end of their yeah. group, you well, know. That's well, that's of... why it would be like, who would you have on this group if you had to make it? Three people, including yourself, Probably, right now. Obviously, um... me and Royce Cup. No, he's not lasting. <laughs> So, the people that have been talking about it, actually, it's me and Kriskis have been mainly like speaking of it. Like, well, that would be really cool to do. Um, and actually, I've, I don't I haven't I haven't talked about this to Pricewood directly, but Kriskis said that he had talked to Pricewood and he said he was down to him. So, like, I I didn't I didn't wasn't there for the conversation, but he said that Pricewood would be down for a trio with him, me, and Kriskis. So that would be a pretty legendary team, I would get, say. Like, yeah, we need to get FaZe or like some big company to come on over and look at RuneScape content creators and just group you guys up, pay for your housing, pay for your rent, for <laughs> six oh months God. to see what you could create. Because they right. do that with other games, professional games. Oh, okay. FaZe is a good is... example anymore. <laughs> right. I don't know a lot of I don't know a lot of fucking you know things. I, I just like to say FaZe because they're well known, but. We need more of that. Like, there's such mm. awesome, complex content in old school RuneScape that has such viewage potential, but there are no funders or there's no organizations they could fall under Dude, to really maximize this. struggling this right now, so we got to do it ourselves. <laughs> well, yeah, but they're just not looking at the right people. They're going, okay, go win your tournaments. You don't need tournaments or get views. Like, you just put two to three sweatiest hardcores in existence in one roof and see what the fuck they make. And I'm pretty sure it'd be amazing. And if they die, or say like the internet goes out for the house, I mean that's great content. Let's be real, that's, that's that'd be beautiful. <laughs> they all get tossed, dude. Yeah. I I wish I could mm. fund it one day, bro. All mm -hmm. right, mm. when I get my million somehow, dude. All right, I'm gonna start looking at these fucking content creators. We're gonna make something. I don't know what the organization's <laughs> gonna be called. It's gonna be sweet. the Milkers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a different organization. <laughs> that could be maybe. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, about the boosting stuff. Um, yeah. You know, earlier yeah, in the next podcast. Topic, right? Next topic? Yeah, that's right. Is that what we're going we for? We finally we're moved on up. from... We moved uh... on. We moved <laughs> There's a lot to cover. But thank yeah. you so much for telling us about all this oh, sweet, yeah. hardcore, juicy oh, lore. Well, one more thing, actually. Okay. One, more oh, thing. one more thing. One more thing. This is actually very exciting. I have not received this yet, but Radish Boy, another content creator, he is working on an IRL Zuck helmet for me. <laughs> He's gonna like, wear one that I can badass. actually put on my head. That yeah. is going to be so cool. I'm so excited for that. I, I don't He's know. So I, think it's, I think it should always be finished by now, but um, it still has to be delivered and stuff. So I probably will still take a while, but I'm hoping it'll be here before I max so I can wear it when I uh, when I max my hardcore. It's going to be so cool. Dude, that's yeah. not, but that's, that's the last thing I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, what a guy, bro! You gotta yeah, buy that to like RuneFest or something. And speaking of, like, oh yeah, has Jagex like ha have they like have they acknowledged your achievement at all? Like, has there been anything, any kind of acknowledgement? Uh, uh, I have not seen anything. No. Oh, that's what? sad. I mean, Fuck, I, I mean, Jmods maybe 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 Jmods uh, gratzing me, but apart from that, no, nothing like official. That's oh, dude. Right, they dude. they should like they should do something for you at the next RuneFest. Yeah, there there should be you, something right here. Hmm. Need to fly you I mean, over, maybe bro, maybe I'll shirt. get a golden gnome next uh, year. Who knows? Uh, maybe you get the diamond gnome. I mean, dude. I don't That's think we're ridiculous. streaming, but maybe for YouTube. But <laughs> streaming is probably not gonna happen. I'm not a new streamer. 
They need to have like I don't know if they do for the gold gnomes, but like craziest accomplishment of the year or something, and just just giving out prizes. Well, I do think they need other categories for gold gnomes because I think it's kind of yeah, it it kind of leaves out so many people that could deserve it. You know, like there's so many other things they could give golden gnomes for. Dude, don't you think it's hilarious? Where it's like if you don't get the first year, if you don't get sorry, if if you don't get if you don't get the newest of this year one oh. it's like you're basically done after that it's, yep. like, nice, nice. Yep. it's like good luck bro yeah. like fucking ggs <laughs> yeah it's like you're up against like boat in fucking those guys it's like okay, exactly okay. yeah exactly <laughs> best video maker oh my oh, god bro yeah they should yeah. they should do some more stuff for sure and like the thing mm-hmm. is like Jagex, they got, they got... Yeah. They've, they've pulled away from a lot of the community stuff it feels like like yeah they I, don't, I don't know i feel like they they need to reincorporate that into their, yep. their things I agree. it's good for the community man and it's like things yep. like what you've achieved needs to be it, i feel like it needs to be um celebrated you know it needs to be acknowledged like for sure mm-hmm. it's a massive thing like it, oh dude I don't know, but yeah. We're anyways, it right here. You know what, Screw Jagex? Yeah, man. Do you know what? Well, that's why. That's why we started the podcast. We got it. We got it. We got it. Do you know what, Mutz? We're celebrating your achievement, Mutz. We appreciate you, Let's even though, even though they don't. Thank you, thank Fuck you, thank guys. you. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. So. Where's my statue? I'll pay for your food, man. When we okay, okay. <laughs> there we go, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> statue, bro. So you know, as we were saying earlier in the podcast, mm-hmm. right? some of the tasks mm-hmm. that you can do in the game like i was talking about the perfect hat where it took me 10 yeah. hours of killing akka over and over and over again so here's the thing Mint. this is something you probably <laughs> don't know about Sorry. It's like you, I, I'm, I'm gonna treat you <laughs> as you speak of the comment section and people viewing this that won't understand yeah, sensei rexy teach me go. the ways dude so effectively you're able to boost those tasks some of the tasks that are incredibly difficult and like the hardest tasks in the game are currently boostable so an example of that within toa is that you can go into the instance with somebody else and they can do everything while you wait in reception like you're in the waiting area you can't even be attacked yeah insert lobby music they they do everything (laughs) And then you get yeah. the achievement. So effectively, there are services which are called boosting services, um, and and they offer th- those kind of things. Um, and I thought that seeing how boosting is quite a big topic right now, whether it's bounty hunter boosting or if it's boosting for purples inside of Cox, uh, or even boosting for you know achievements, I think it's a subject that would be worth speaking about, especially considering. Boosting IRL girth. Let's let's cover all of the boosting real quick because it's kind of hilarious, man. Dude, we got we Corso There's boosting, many, bro. There's Fire Cape, uh-huh. Inferno, fucking Fire okay, right, right. now. So, so, wait, 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 wait. wait. So wait. Fire what? Cape. There's, there's, wait, a, there's, a, there's a difference between boosting and services. That's just so, a service. Fire Cape well, is a okay, service, let's... right? Let's not get it twisted. Right, but is this? All right, it's like that it, I, there's a gray area because you're not going to get banned Services for it. I get that. To bannable, me, I know? just it's all the same shit and different kinda, fucking opinions, yeah. but yeah. we won't count that. All right, <laughs> not, so what else do we got outside of that? We got well, uh, the, fucking the difference is, yeah, the, the difference between boosting and services know. is like services would be that they log onto your account, yeah, and that, yeah, that is what makes it yeah. bad. That's a violation. Just yeah, but if you're just sitting the other... with your dick in your hand while someone's doing something for you, isn't that the same thing? Well, yeah. no, because they are helping you in the game on their own account. Yeah. So it's, like, it's, it's, like it's, it's very recall. different. It's like it's like you know the hands have not touched the account. Wait, you know? <laughs> the bomb? Are we talking about the orbs again? The orbs not that? You know? Yeah, the you avoid the orbs. Tainted by dirty hands, so it's not okay. exactly. You don't even similar, need to be yes. in there, bro. So there's you a could, difference, but chilling. the vibe is similar. Pretty yes, much. Very like, much it's the same vibe, vibe difference. But it's it's humorous though. There's it's everything though. Every it's like there's so much boosting. Like, does Online no one want to do shit on mm-hmm. RuneScape? Are you just sitting there like, yeah. can I get someone else to so, do everything? Like my god. You know, so, so, if you so think about it. Go go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I mean, so here's the thing. I don't have a problem against boosting. Like, quite frankly, I couldn't give a fuck. It's not up to me to mm-hmm. enforce Jagex's rules, and if Jagex don't want to enforce their own rules, that's on them. And I don't really care about people doing this as a service either. But there are some services that legitimately are actually out there that are good, in my opinion. So, for example, we've been talking this whole time about how horrible it is to get a team together to do these tasks. And in some mm-hmm. cases, 
you know, it's like you can just bypass pretty much all of that and you can go yeah. to the service and there have seven dudes that are fucking good and you will effectively yeah. get the task first go as long as you don't mess up. So it's like there's definitely a market that they're filling there, but there is some that I would question whether it's like good for the game yeah. or at least the I very agree. least I think that it can kind of devalue the achievement just because if you are literally not interacting with the content yep. but you get the achievement it feels like you've cheated the system right um and like we spoke a little bit about this much didn't we like the other day in uh discord and we were saying yep. how yeah we did like they they could they just i feel like it would be nice if they implemented something to prevent that specifically from mm -hmm. happening so the example i gave of just being able to wait in the lobby and not even have to interact with the content I think all yep. they all they would have to do is make it so like I don't know if you don't leave that area within one minute of somebody somebody entering the encounter like you won't get any achievements like something like that to be in place would would pretty much all all of my problems with it would be gone but what do you think about it Mats? No, I think you kind of nailed it there like especially like if you're not doing the content like if you're not actively interacting with the the task you're supposed to be doing then you don't deserve to achieve it and it's exactly like that it's like if, if you have seven gamers that are really good at toa like, i think that's fine like they just they're just there um they're just gaming with you and you're also attacking the bosses and stuff so essentially that is okay but if you're like purposely not interacting with the boss to not fill the task and then still getting the task even though you didn't do anything i think that is bad i think that's not very really healthy and it also will devalue your achievement for sure I think that is uh, like mm -hmm. you're kind of missing out on on doing that task, which is actually pretty challenging. Otherwise, you wouldn't be paying for it in that way. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like to answer the question of like why do people pay for services and boosts? Like, I mm -hmm. I think it comes down to the same reason why there are people who feel the need to cheat in first person shooters. It, it's and like buy gold. Yeah, oh, and, that's and buy gold. Show, dude. People like to people I I. Dude, I don't know. I think that sometimes people see themselves people at a who buy gold point and they just want to get people who fast cheat on FCS possible. games, dude. I'm sorry, it's a difference. When you're just sitting there wall hacking in a fucking silver lobby, what are you <laughs> doing with your life? Versus, <laughs> I want to buy a VLS or something. Okay, at least you have a cause. You're paying someone. This dude over here, scum bucket, bro. Just ruin everyone's <laughs> time. He's gonna get banned in like ten hours. Nothing he does has any achievement whatsoever. And you know, he's just typing. Hey, I see you over there. Oh, just you mean shit. trolls? I think that's more of a troll. troll, you know? Some people, that's just how they game. They yeah, don't play a game trolls. they can't cheat because it's not that they're a troll. It's that they give up trying before they get anywhere. And so they're stuck at this base level of skill where they have to cheat to have fun. But and what, if they don't, they get mad. Why do you guys think that people cheat in video games? Like, genuine question. I just think people noticed? are shallow, you know? They just like to. Uh, they don't. They don't. They don't know how to challenge themselves. And ego. You know, it's yeah. all ego, dude. It's all yeah, ego, I think man. ego is probably a big part. Like you want to show off. Like okay, I'm good. You know, like I got but all this not. stuff. I got this rank. You know, I'm cool. Like, uh, I think that's kind of. Now that we're off topic a little bit and we're on this tangent, right? Like this. This. I mean, I feel like this is is more of a philosophical question, right? Like, why do people it do is. those things, right? Yeah. Because. I think my good, my my younger friend is a good example because I've known this guy. Throwing him under for, the bus, dude. You know, no, I'm not gonna give him name, but I've known this guy <laughs> since he was like freaking eight or something, right? You know, and I'm older than him, so so like obviously you, he he kind of looks up to me for some advice, right? But like I always try to help him out with just things, right? But but the thing is, every time I suggest something kind of difficult, like oh maybe even like exercising, you know, he always backs out, right? And like mm -hmm. and at some point, you know, he's like in his twenties now. Right. And he, you know, he had, one day he was just like, yo, bro, I'm lost. Like, what do you mean you're lost? It's like, yeah, I just can't. I, I don't know, like, what I, what I'm spending my time doing, like, why I'm doing anything. You know, it's like I I get bored. Like, I'm like, I'm like, bitch, it's because you never try hard. You know, you never <laughs> try to do anything. So every time I suggest something to, like, you know, train your discipline or like, Fire see, yourself. you know, allow you to see things a bit different. You don't do it. You avoid it. You avoid everything. And because of that, I feel like you're kind of screwed because, you know, you don't you don't see a point in doing anything, you know, it's because you never tried in the first place. And he's like, yeah, you're fucking right, man. I, I, I've been a pussy. I'm like, yeah, man, you've been, you know, and I think that's kind of I think that leads to this idea of why people cheat and stuff is because people love taking things easy. 
they don't they they want to avoid yeah. all the work but but by doing that though they're screwing themselves over because i think uh, what happens is you're going to become like my friend who is struggling later on to understand like what is even the point of any of this right like why do you even live mm. right yeah the I whole think that's point, kind of how whole, I see it nowadays. I feel like the yeah. whole point in it is to feel a sense of achievement, right? And like a sense of pride mm. in knowing yeah. that you've bettered yourself. You you were there and now you're here, right? <laughs> it's like that is what you take Pretty away from it. So it, it's one of those things yeah. like... It, yeah, it, they miss out on the journey though. That's it, the it's the part. exact they don't same realize. thing as buying gold or boosting your account. It's like if you do that, you skip out on all of the effort in between. You don't appreciate yep. the end as much as you would if you started and you did it. Ends not yourself. even fun. Either. Exactly. Like, no, the, the only end's the worst end part, is... dude. The end's like yeah, it's, it's kind of it's empty. Awful. It's just like oh, I reminisce it's about. It's like nothing. Like, I feel like I feel like there are some people. You put in work for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say once it's over, you're just sitting there like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this kind of sucks, dude. I don't like, think it's for papers? everyone though. I feel like some people do that. Like some people just don't even try, right? But I think there's people that definitely try first and then they come to the conclusion like, okay, this is very difficult and I'm kind of struggling, but I kind of don't want to bother anymore. So yeah. then they decide, okay, well, I guess I'm going to go oh, the easy great. way this time. That's, so that's yeah. fine. But there's I definitely think, uh, people that don't do that though, like for sure. But yeah, I, I feel I like a that's, a, I, I that's kind of me. Themselves. I, I think yeah. that, you know, on, on like a very deep, like level i think that i think that it comes from a lot of it's a very personal thing where people often will see themselves at a certain point and, shit. and they kind of want to get there <laughs> no matter the cost um oh. mm -hmm. and it, it's yeah. the same like there's so many so many similarities you can draw between like take like social media for example there's loads oh, and terrible. loads of like instagram accounts where people have bought they follows. call it the bella delphine effect dude oh they, they buy they buy an account they get it, follows they buy likes and stuff like that mm -hmm. and it's like it comes from like a pre like i think it's just people want to get to the 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 final part as fast as they possibly can um and i think that it could potentially come from a place of like social media in a big way it's like there are people that are so good at the game and it's like when you've got something like the zuck hound which is a clear prestigious item and it shows your skill and like you know how good you are at yep. the game etc etc if you can buy your way there it's like an immediate flex on people but the the mm -hmm. crazy thing is is that if you're somebody that legitimately did that and you got it yourself and you play with these yep. people who boosted all their stuff you know yep. straight away bro it's so yeah. obvious when somebody's like not clearly deserved what they have versus somebody mm -hmm. who has and it like it, it's just one of those things but i i guess like you don't really know until you get to that point yourself and then you can see but like, it's like you would never yeah. make that mistake if you got that yourself you know or if like you that did, was, it wouldn't that be was, like that yeah but like that was really the case where like it was very common when people bought infernal capes right that's like not too long ago i guess but like you could tell when you're like doing pvm with them that the cape was bought like you just know like okay there's, there's no way this guy did inferno himself um and, but i think with zuckham it's a little bit different because yes there's a lot of tasks you can boost but there is also solo tasks which you can't uh, well, boost unless you let someone in your solo. account you yeah. know most so, yeah solo, so. so like there is still some uh sense of achievement in that way like it's not like you can fully buy your zuck helm unless you actually let someone on your account which is bannable but, so like but let's just assume say... that won't be the case Right, but I will say if someone had a subcom and they told me they basically bought all the team tasks, I look at yeah. them a little different, you know. Right. Yeah, oh no, yeah, uh, it's like, definitely devalued. Know, he's yeah, kind of he's kind of a gamer, but I wouldn't want to really do hard group stuff with him because I don't really trust him. Do we, do we know how much it would cost? Is is there a service yet for buying a subcom? <laughs> like, is there a price on it? I don't go to those. That's the scary I, part because me. the price mm, could be check. anything. <laughs> And that, like, that's why people would do it. Like, they might it's pay the an exorbitant amount if there's a lot less, you know, supply than demand. I, I, I think they definitely a charge like a hundred plus mil, like, oh, bro. easily. I, I think task, we, so. we would oh, go yeah. past the point of it being <laughs> that's a just a singular so it would be, task. <laughs> it would be yeah. in the billions, probably. It, it would be. It'll it be, literally be billions. Yeah. yeah it billions. would be. It would probably be anywhere. I imagine, like, for the probably between like five and ten grand like usd oh, i imagine yeah. if you were to pay for it because like here's the thing you yeah. can 
like so for example you have to you have to pay for it like as in yeah yeah yeah. is then you literally is you literally say hey i want to zuck cam here's my account login do every task oh my god you want it legally yeah 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 that's that's what i'm saying but but, but, the thing Uh, is like why why not why not think of it like that considering that people (sighs) who buy infernal capes don't get banned like mm. i hey guys, like why not do it's, it's definitely within the realm of don't do this at home no. yeah but, uh, the, this this closure we are not endorsing people to do this okay no. this is the radical right bro going crazy, all, all i'm right? gonna say man is that if you're somebody who pays for a fucking zuck helm, like you'd never did a fucking task in your day then in my opinion you've had to pay for it in one way or another especially if you paid anything over like five grand i'd be like okay well you mm. did your due diligence there you paid you pick, you sacrifice something and get in that you know yeah yeah true it's uh, it is what it is but like the thing is like mm, i have people all the time i'm quite interested in this in my chat they're they're like you know infernal capes are really cheap to buy now and i can't mm. believe how cheap they are i'm just like damn like they're basically doing them for free nowadays and it's like you only need to do five zuck tasks in fairy you need to kill zuck five times in order to complete all of the zuck tasks right and yeah. you can do all of them within 5kc so it's like it's one of those things where it is a little scary when people aren't being banned or capes removed and so forth for that kind of activity when there is yeah. something that is prestigious right now and the most prestigious item in the game i would say based on a skill basis is the yep. zuck helm undoubtedly it's not it's not a max cape but at the end of the day like <laughs> not to discredit people that max it is what it is but like in terms of skill and like knowledge and stuff yeah, like yeah, that definitely. it's definitely the zuck helm so it's kind of it's kind of yeah. worrying in some ways that some of that can effectively and some of what I would say is the hardest content in the game, such as Zuck, just be completely bypassed by your credit card, and it's just like it's just kind of mad to think. Yeah. Like I, I don't I'm know. Per- I'm impressed, dude. I'm I don't impressed, think there's many people right? that have bought the yeah. the the Zuck helm and put it away with it. Like <laughs> there's that. probably maybe like one. <laughs> I don't know. I think they've done pretty well with uh, anti cheat recently, like banning people that have obtained stuff illegally. I guess. I think well, really yeah, I mean, work into honestly, that. right? Like you could technically buy anything, you know, in yeah. anywhere, right? Any game, but like, but like the the matter of the fact is, is like. I think a lot of people just don't really understand that if you really want to be satisfied, you know, with what the with the things that you do in your life, whether it's, you know, perfecting a hobby or, or like such as RuneScape, like making a good character or completing mm-hmm. good achievements is is that it's not about the the result, you know, it's about the process of you working towards it. That's the thing that matters the most is because that's what makes you appreciate living you know in the first place and like enjoying the yeah. time that you have here i think a lot of people yeah. think that oh yes oh suck helms amazing i want to get there but but and just have it right they just want to have it but they don't think about the process that's really the meat of what you you are missing out you know it's not really just getting the suck helm. it's about the fact that you have all these stories of how you did mm-hmm. it you know like mutt's here we we spent an hour or two talking about <laughs> all the crazy shit that he did and that's really what like makes it interesting right it's not just that oh he, he got his outcome it's that no this is all the stuff that he did mm-hmm. in the process and it's interesting and that's i think really is what makes it worth it for us you know dude i uh, you think don't just it's get something get something you, i think you, it's you the process man sorry the journey i've just got this on my head like on my mind right yeah. now. i think it's like kind of terrifying how you know as time's progressing and things are becoming faster and faster and like more instant dopamine hits whether it's the content you consume and it's like bro as as time continues and like people get more and more used to that easy dopamine hit like it's gonna i i i think it will create like generations generations of people (laughs) that just don't feel that much enjoyment because they, they've like skipped out on the main part of it you know what, what yeah. is yeah, the yeah, fulfilling yeah. part and it's terrifying have, have you guys like watched a movie and then also scroll through tiktok and then check twitter or is that just me like i'll just be watching oh, something yeah. and i'll watch yeah. something yeah. else Definitely while i'm watching not me. something else. um not when i'm watching a show because i'm usually just afk runescape and that's my tiktok i guess but like but like yeah. if i'm just like 
editing you know sometimes i'll literally like edit for two you minutes and then edit i'll take and watch something That's no no no, crazy. no no i'll like edit right and then I i'll do. see like a youtube <laughs> short right? and then i'll see a youtube short and then i'm like watching it and i'm like fuck i watch more than i edited <laughs> you know yeah. oh yeah that's very like, relatable yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate dude, that. dude i like, also i'm ruined like, dude i'm ruined bro yeah I watch like, stuff I mean, I while I'm editing sometimes. Done, but, yeah. I, I usually watch stuff that makes me feel a certain way. So like, if I'm trying to make like a part of my video really hype, then I'll watch something that gets me really hype. Or I'll listen to music that fucking riles me up and I'll be like, I need to get a song like this that's not copyrighted and I can throw it <laughs> <Yeah>. in here. <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, mm. for me, I, I want to go take like a trip somewhere like in a forest for two weeks and reset my dopamine. Cause I'll I'll just be watching like a podcast. I'll be learning about AI or crypto or something. I'll be like, oh shit, something popped up my phone, dude. Oh, I just fell off a staircase, dude. What the fuck? Wow. That was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, should, I, you should like, try. You should try meditating. It's more of a I've realistic been escape. All those. You should. Yeah. Because if that's what you're thinking about, you should try to meditate. Like for real, try to meditate. And I'm not saying that I do it myself, but I know that the effect is what you're trying to say there the by going to the woods. Helps too. Well, but it's yeah, funny because meditation would for sure help me out and i do need to make that a part of my day with a lot of other good healthy things but i feel like what i've been doing lately is slightly like med meditating even though i'm not I'm like dopamine fucking it's rude it's over right? i'm just <laughs> but i'll I'm, in my head i'll be planning stuff right like you know we were going to talk about this a little bit later but how uh twitch mm -hmm. is being super greedy and kick is taking a lot of their viewer base no, i'll be planning together. that in my head and i'll be looking at tiktok <laughs> and i'll be like could i make more tiktoks and i'll be checking out the algorithm and i'll check out like i look over at rakesy's channel i'll see his longer videos are doing well like in the back of my mind mm. when when i was streaming all the time i would never plan i would never think i would just do now all i'm doing yep. is thinking and planning and doing less which might be bad but when i do something it's strategically put out it's layered it, well, it can yeah. no, I, I think it's months. better for content creation but uh, i feel like not necessarily the same line of issue with you know getting distracted by a billion things but but yeah planning for content is is always well, a that's good what idea. i do i'm yeah. just thinking way too much lately that's that's all it is yeah but... i mean i think that's one of the problems with Stuff like TikTok and stuff, but um. Well, is it also kind of like maybe that's just what life is now? Is just constant interaction and constant knowledge. Uh, yeah. They say we're in an information war because we don't know where the information we get is coming from, right? So we're constantly mm -hmm. given inf information that interacts or contradicts. So we're just constantly learning, and then the things we learn will be like that's not true, or maybe that yeah. is true, and then yeah. we gotta figure that shit out, well, and maybe you should that's kind start, of what is related. You should start by trying to source reliable sources, so people who are, like, genuine... That's all I do, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah right. so... And, and, yeah. and also, at the same time, trying to, like, you know, try to reduce the amount of, um, I guess, pathways in which you get all your information, because, like, sometimes you just have too many coming in at once, right? Just close some of that shit off. I mean, for example, yeah. I, don't, I don't fuck with TikTok, because I know, like, if I ever mess with it, I'm gonna like get distracted way too much. I feel like, you know, Twitch streams on the background is like my ideal. You know, the occasional YouTube video, like you know, my ideal. Like I don't want to, you know, Dude, my TikTok algorithm is crazy, open, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, League of Legends out. play titties, no. oh, no, Runescape no. clip, politician <laughs> filing, more titties. All of a sudden, I'm hours deep in a random titties on TikTok. TikTok. I'm like, right what am now. I doing, dude? What's How do we get here from boosting Tars? <laughs> well, it's well, like it's talking about titties on TikTok all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't look at things. It's the algorithm, and it's yeah. like it tracks my eyeballs. It's like he, it's titty time. It's like, what do you do? So, I want to watch League of Legends bro, content. Asian, you need Asian, to, you Asian, need, like... you need to just like try meditation and just like before you get into it, you can just think. <laughs> I could be scrolling through titties and titties and titties on TikTok right now, or I could be planning my next move on old school RuneScape. I could be dropping but, the um, next banging gamer video that blows up. Yeah. If I put more thought and effort into what the fuck I'm doing instead of just being a fucking sheep and a zombie and a slave to the fucking ticks and the talks. Well, the yeah, more I as, delve as into that much. info, the less of a sheep I feel, and the more like I know it's happening, but I can't do anything about it, which is still super useless. I mean, but, um, uh, it's all about reading what Musk was saying. Uh, yeah. But what Musk was saying was how how this connects to boosting and stuff is that <laughs> I'm, in a way, you know, in a way is that the more we're exposed to people's accomplishments, right? This goes yeah. beyond obviously like RuneScape accomplishments, right? Like the more you see, like wow, some a hardcore did it. He got a Zuckum. 
or um, I don't know, or any other thing, right? Or like fear of getting a, a char of darkness finally on his on it. Like yeah, the more sure. like these cool accomplishments you, you're exposed to, the you know the more FOMO you get, mm -hmm. right? As because then you're like, damn, mm -hmm. that could be me. I want to be like him. But then a lot of people, obviously, they they're exposed to so many of these things, but they're like, I can't do them all. But how do I do them all? And some of them are like, you know what? I got money. I'm gonna buy it. Good, you know, yeah. like something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I definitely. feel like that's how it would connect. But but it's like a bigger, far bigger, broad, you know, spectrum. Uh, well, if right we're there, back yeah. onto the whole boosting subject, yeah. I I just I feel like in my mind, boosting and buying GP, and then of course you got other people cheating are are two different types of cheating. And I'm more impressed with RuneScape's cheating in a way, because if you look at an economy in general, how do businesses form, right? businesses form when there's a problem in the economy that needs to get fixed so runescape's economy is honest to god so in depth that businesses yeah. are forming at every fucking level of boosting and real money is being made there in such niche uh problems that it's it's like is this a factor of cheating or is this just what a real economy looks like on a video game we uh, don't this know is, uh... It yeah. could be just what a real economy looks like, because that's what happens in real life too. Like, isn't that what they're trying to make in RuneScape? Is a real economy? It's a it's a very diverse. Um, I think it's one of the most, I guess, uh, complex MMOs out there. You know, very in terms sure. of economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very complex. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially I yeah with the economy. I wouldn't really want it to change. Like I said at the start, I don't really have a problem against boosting uh, in some forms, mm -hmm. but it's like. It's kind of the thing that gives RuneScape its magic, you know? It's it's like the evolution between just playing the game as you're younger and then, like, seeing merchants. Merchants are effectively exploiting somebody and then exploiting somebody else to make a little extra money. And it's just like, that's just and kind of evolved too. into services. And now it's like, we will literally complete tasks for you for a price. You know, it's it's just the evolution of, <laughs> like, I guess you could say an economy. But if you remove that from it, make it bannable and stuff i, I feel like it does well, take a little, they can't a little really away. yeah no i don't think it's possible to make those things bannable because it's an mmo and and trading you know will always exist right without the trading aspect like like basically the only way to like really stop boosting is you get rid of training but then that completely destroys the mmo like, like they did you know, last experience time. right yeah. so i can't you can't really do that but what they they can do is and and it's obviously there's a balance right which is there there's some tasks that are really stupidly set up like oh yeah you know your 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 dude camping at the lobby obviously make that a timer right if if you did not go in into that room within uh, the the 10 seconds that the first person went in or something right then you don't qualify for the task you know mm -hmm. simple things like that it's perfect like uh for yeah. example i mean people buying like a good team as their, you know, plus threes in a four man or something to, to do the time. That's like, you can't really, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do about that, right? Because that's just normal teamwork stuff. You're, if you have good friends, it's like the same as having good friends that know how mm -hmm. to do the content and they help you. They'll be like yep. that, right? So I think that all they can do is tweak certain tasks, right? Like if certain boosts are just too stupidly, like, like unfair, you know, and, and, and whatever, they can fix that, you know, they can fix those things. Or infer, infor, uh, enforce like Inferno Cape stuff like they do for certain things. <laughs> yeah, enforce. Yeah. Well, they yeah, do that. Bounty right? hunters and Sea of yeah. Infernos yeah. and shittiest yeah, we'll you've ever <laughs> seen, it, bro. Man. There's no enforcement. <laughs> I mean, they do Dude. remove Inferno Cape still to this day. Just like, if it's like super obvious, I guess, but it yeah. must not be that obvious because it is a full time career for some people. Yeah, and, no, uh, I mean, like Rakesy said, it, I got the, nothing against boosting. I'm almost doing waves, you know, but but you get what I'm yeah. saying. It's like, you know, like the, they should enforce some of it, but you can't really outright like ban everything. It's just not possible. So, uh, yeah, unless you get rid of trading. <laughs> Yeah. When when you shoot for the stars and try to make the realist economy on a video game possible, you're going to run into real economy problems. And that is just something that we got to deal with as a community. You know, you know they got taxes yeah. on grant exchange for burn items. They got, uh, you know, for bosses, you got to pay 100K for death. So they're adding things that would be burn mechanisms that try to stabilize the economy. But you're not going to be able to solve everything, just like we don't solve everything in the real economy. We're actually pretty fucked. So it's uh maybe maybe it's just based on a fucked model <laughs> you know who knows yeah it's, I mean, not, it's just not perfect the human interaction mm -hmm. is just not perfect as long as people yeah. are having fun yeah. that's that's yeah. all that matters at the end of the day yeah it is a it is a small 
thing uh, in the grand scheme of things because you know the, the boosting stuff in, in these tasks are, are super minority uh, people you know most players like they're they're still trying to figure out how to cut a magic tree you oh, know yeah. so and it is benefiting cool. high skilled players so i mean not to you know all those That's people true. doing this shit are insane at the game and they are benefiting greatly yeah. from being kind of it's kind of like the game. rich get richer though in a way it's like well yeah. it's just that it's just that group of people that are constantly benefiting from this well that's why we like need like some sort of rest. we need like an outlet for these incredibly skilled gamers you know so they're not just focused on making random GP, yeah but no, maybe exactly a i just yeah. i wish there was something there because there's so much opportunity for them to do something but there's nothing to do past a certain point with all of these that, skills that is tr- challenge it, yourself. that's such a difficult thing though i feel like the the community has gotten so in depth in this game like we've got this game figured out to the dime you know like some of us are so advanced nowadays that designing difficult content is gonna make it's, it's so much more difficult nowadays than it was before like like Fire let's say it, inferno yeah. release you know that was so good and it was such a prestigious item for the longest of time it still is it still is a very prestigious item yeah it's not it's just a lot more yeah, people have gotten yeah. so much better at the game and actually achieved it and that's what is pushing people as well to get better and now that everyone is at this skill level or a lot of people are at a very high skill level it's so much more difficult to design content that it is actually so difficult mm-hmm. I, it's gonna be so it, i don't know i don't think there ever will be anything that'll be extremely challenging but maybe who knows i got an idea all right yeah. i already oh, told bro, everyone this idea the but my, no, takes your no, account. no, on, no, no, no okay bro. what do you think about this dude a boss that deletes your runescape account <laughs> bro. all right if you no. die but that's not okay. mechanically challenging is it no 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 <laughs> that's not necessarily don't, every oh, week Right, maybe they only have it live for one week in a month and they change the mechanics. And once you go mm. in, you're fucking locked. You can't teleport. You gotta beat this boss. There is nothing that is given about this boss. Right. Yeah. Maybe you can watch someone else do it and take some notes a week long and they shut it down, they they redo it, and it drops mm. maybe like insane cosmetic gear. But like I said, if you die, your account gets deleted, and then maybe like a surcharge of a hundred bucks think, just to kick you in the nuts. But do you know what I think you should do, man? I think you should just do it yourself. Just make a series where if you <laughs> die, you have to delete your account. By the way, this is coming no. from the guy Episode who said one. that the Revenant I mean, boss the... was perfectly mechanically made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember me? that. <laughs> that, was, that was in our that podcast, the, actually. The <laughs> Dude, think about this. All right, you're going into an area in the wilderness, and this boss pops up, and you attack it. You can't teleport. Easy dodges, but everyone around you can murder you in an instant. How beautiful! As balanced for that? PvP. It's great for PvP. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Beautiful, I will say that. dude. It's a beautifully it's like, made boss, and that's it. That's all I gotta say. It's perfect in mm. every way possible, dude. Except for the loot, it could be a little better. And honestly, the people farming mm-hmm. it are annoying as shit because they are in max gear and unkillable. But other than that, it's perfect. Yes. Speaking of good loot, boosting chambers purples up. What about that? Because that's also Ooh. a form of boosting, dude. Do you... and I think that's a pretty interesting topic, in my opinion. Okay. Do you want to go into detail and explain quickly how it's done and what it is for the viewers? Yeah, yeah. So essentially, you're scaling up a raid to have like a lot of people in it. So you're starting the raid. I think it's like 26 people that'll be in the raid when you start it. Um, and this means that every like uh, NPC in a boss, like all the bosses in the rooms, they will have a lot higher HP and therefore give a lot more points than they would normally do. So what you would do is you would um scale up this raid to a very high amount and then do all these rooms but only on one account or two accounts so like your boosted account basically which is well these days a lot of them are hardcores or iron man and they just get a lot of points and there is one main account that also gets a lot of points but the thing with this is that your personal points will cap out at some point which is i believe it's 131k points and after that, something interesting happens, and that this is kind of why this is possible, because your personal points will be capped, and therefore it'll go toward, it will still go towards the team points, though. So the, the points are still being gained, but not on your personal side anymore. Um, and this is why the boosting is even an option, because at the end of the raid, uh, what happens is you get home to a very low HP, on your main account and then this main account will then just leave the raid completely 
And, well, why is this possible? Normally, when you would leave the raid, you would take all your points with you. So they will just exit the raid. They will just be gone, deleted from the raid. But because your points are capped at 131k, that means only the 131k, which is, is a lot of points. It is a lot of points. But it's not a lot of points compared to the total, which is like 600k or something. Um, you only take your personal points with you from the total points. But there's still so much left over. And that's just team points. And since the other account with points in the raid is just the Iron Man account, um, that Iron Man account is basically eligible for all the loot chance. So yeah, all the team serious. points, uh, a, a purple will get rolled. If if it gets rolled, well, the only person it can go to is that one account that has the points. Um, so yeah, essentially it's like three hours per raid if if done well, and it's Dude. like a sixty five percent chance to get a purple, which is kind of oh, crazy. No. Fuck, bro. No. So that's, that's the not, idea that's of it. That's kind of ridiculous, dude. Like, Raid's one, you're going to ruin that adventure? That's Rice Cup's so, favorite content. The only know? question that. I have, well, I've got two actually. Well, it's mm -hmm. not easy to do, though. It's not easy to do. I know. Yeah. No, True. it's a lot of effort, for sure. So, yeah. when the main account leaves and he doesn't fully kill Om, they leave it with, like, yeah. under 100 health, does the Iron Man mm -hmm. then go in to finish the kill? I'm a guess. That is an option, yeah. Um, if if that Iron Man is good enough to do that, they can do that. Um, that that's how Lake does it. And but if let's not... say you let so it's also possible to do it on level three, which obviously you can't kill all on level three account. But you would just have another account um, that'll just kill off the boss that didn't get any points previously. So that account would still be zero points at the point where it's gonna finish off Orm. So oh, uh, the main account that did all the Orm that he just leaves, and then this old other main account which has no points gonna finish off the ohm kill and basically not have any credit at all for the for the purple because yeah. the other account is gonna have way more points from all the cooking uh, of the fish that he's done so my other question is this is being sold as a service how much mm -hmm. do they charge how, how much does one of these runs cost uh it's quite a lot let me check I think hundreds i'm in months. one of the discords um i heard it was like 700 mil or something Damn. Oh, okay. So dry smoke. Dry smoke is one of the discords I'm in because a lot of the a lot of the people that TOB with are in dry smoke. That's a boosting uh, discord. Um, but they charge uh 450 mil for a one plus 26, so a 27 man skill, which is a 65 percent chance. Damn. Yeah. I and I'm they kind of well, actually they say oh they also have a prize for a guaranteed purple which is 700 mil so 700 mil for a guaranteed purple that so i guess that will mean that if you don't get a purple on the raid they will do another one with you until you get one yeah yeah damn is, is so 700 mil for one purple is it like damn, busy dude. or people actually paying the, these prices ah probably I not a lot it's a small very okay it's a very way. small group yeah like someone probably someone that's like very dry or something is like well i kind of want to see a purple now so i'm just gonna do like a mega skill for once i can see that being a thing like people are just it's, tired it's of seeing white thing, lights okay i'll tell you that it's not popular whatsoever nah it's only talked about popularly because you know like lake streamed it you know and like a lot of people watch that and then people yeah. are talking about it you know mm -hmm. but it's not something that like oh my god it's being abused everywhere you know no 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 it requires pretty exceptional like coordination and all that and you know gameplay skills experience to pull it off yeah so do, it's not so easily abusable do by, by any means how do we feel about it because i i haven't fully like given it my full thought yet so i'm not fully like have my mindset on exactly how i feel right. about it so have you guys thought about it a little more yeah definitely i think and we kind of touched on this earlier with the combat achievements. Um, like when you're just fully setting out the whole thing and you still get the task, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of similar here where if you don't do anything at all and you still just get all the loot potential, it's like, well, this is kind of weird. You're level three, you're level three hard crime man, and you just get a twisted bow like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a bad taste. But, it is a bad taste. Uh, I think being boosted is fine like in chambers i think chambers is designed in a way where even a level three can get points and therefore has a chance to get a loot and i think this is fine i just think the main issue is that there is a cap on the personal points 
and then it's going to the team points. Like that is that is just the issue. I think it would have been fine. Like let's say the main gets 500k points, right? Because that's kind of what it, he would have gotten if he wasn't capped out. And then he leaves the rate. Well, he takes all his points with him. So that's kind of it doesn't make sense to do yeah, that. It's not deserved points, is what you're talking about. Yes. That's the so issue. in in, yeah. in that way, like oh, yeah, let's say you finish the rate, and but it's only your hardcore level three account that did some fishing and some eating of the food. I mean, you can probably still get like 100k points, which is, I mean, it's still a good chance, but it's a lot different to 65%. It's definitely not 65%. And I think that's like the big difference. Like you can get boosted, but you just have a lot lower rate than it currently is. I think that would be a lot nicer in a way. Um, yeah. But that, yeah, I guess so. I like right now, it kind of is, you know, yeah, go ahead. Your, so right now, the, the points that you didn't really get yourself, they're getting forced onto you because this other person is leaving the raid. So it's kind of like you don't deserve these points that you just got given to you, basically. I agree. You should only be you should only be rewarded for the points that you actually got yourself and not the points that someone else just donated to you somehow because that's kind of how the, the point system works there for some reason. Like mm -hmm. I don't know even I don't even know why exactly there is a cap. It's I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, they they, oh, dude, thinking. they got some spaghetti oh, code going over there on Cox, man. Yeah. It, I, I genuinely think that yeah. there's a possibility this won't change just purely based off the fact they won't want to break the entire encounter because it's just a mess. Mm -hmm. And, like, they've openly yeah. spoken about how, like, it's just confusing, man. It's not like the other two raids. It's a weird system. But, like, though, I, I don't know what it is about it, but there's something to me that I think of it like this. I'm, like, hearing about it makes me think, oh, mm -hmm. I wonder if Mutz is gonna preemptively prepare for his death on his hardcore and have another hardcore waiting with a twisted bow for his next series, right? That's a few thing to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I feel like because it's so freaking expensive, like, realistically, there yeah. probably aren't many people doing this, bearing in mind, mm -hmm. like, I know that Ginger Beardy got a, a T-bow, so I think that probably gave this a lot of attention because yeah, it's for a sure, huge for thing. Sure. But like in reality, you're probably gonna get like twenty arcane prayer scrolls before you get your Tebow, and then you're you're what like mm -hmm. twenty build deep, and it's like <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely not viable. Yeah, no. so I'm just no. I'm just really thinking: is it really something that is that big of an issue? But it's definitely an interesting uh, boosting service that's being mm -hmm. offered right now. It's just whether or yeah. not it's bad enough for Jagex it's to go through the code enough, and try and fix it, and who knows if that would lead to more problems. I think well, it's I more like say, an integrity thing. Like, yeah, it's an know. integrity thing. I would say if it's easy for them to just change it so that, like, the you know main account points don't just randomly get shoved into some dude fishing. Yeah. Then yeah. Uh, do it. You know, if it's that quick, it's that easy. Do it. It's yeah. Because mm -hmm. it, it kind of is weird. Like, it's just, it's just like I think we're setting like for PR in terms of RuneScape content. Like, if this gets streamed all the time, I think it, it it's just bad for the game in general. Like, yep. Right, just because it's like a joke, you know. It's like, like people are just gonna be like, "Oh, are we gonna be able to boost this content too when it's out?" You know, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a good standard. Like for integrity, like Must says, I, I feel like if they could easily patch it, they should. Mm -hmm. Right, but if it's like gonna be a nightmare, okay, maybe not. You know, like cost, you know, cost the uh, cost benefit analysis. So, yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think kind of nip it in the bud based on the fact that we wouldn't want this to continue for future content alone is probably a good mm -hmm. enough a reason for them to say, okay, we should probably address this. Yeah, it just sets yep. a really bad standard, you know, if we... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Integrity like it's, game. It's, a, it's so much... I feel like it's even better than, like, max geared solos, like, in terms of purple per hour, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. It probably I mean, is. Three hours, probably is. percent chance, yeah. 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 Yeah, because, so, for example, like, uh, you would do, that's like... That's kind of broken. Yeah, it's, like, 1 in 28 solos. Even with max gear, that would still take, like, more than 3 hours, like, 6 hours, you know, even. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I mean, it's uh, definitely kind of whack. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, if that's the case, and you can do it on a level 3 account with no gear, like, that's an issue, you know? <laughs> it's supposed to be somewhat endgame content, mid between mid and endgame, probably. Uh, just to get all the points fed to you, basically. 
that's an issue i think like, yeah. it's fine like like i said earlier it's fine if you just fish food in the raid and just get some points because like you let someone else eat your food i think that's perfectly fine and if you want to go in like go in and put that much effort into it to have a chance at the purple that's in my opinion that's perfectly fine to do but it shouldn't be 65 <laughs> percent yeah man you heard it here you heard it here from mutz man he's gospel i agree though i do i do agree jokes aside mm -hmm. i think that's fair man i'm learning so much today dude what a complex method so like give runescape nerds any amount of freedom and they'll come up with some way <laughs> to benefit from it in some extraordinary method uh like i said i'm always impressed dude, I, dude whether they fix it or not them figuring this out is just borderline it's, impressive it's a question that i often think of a lot when i'm playing the game and i'm like learning these new methods like recently how to do the butterfly effect kill Aka without taking mm -hmm. damage how to the butterfly avoid... effect the bu <laughs> yeah the butterfly <laughs> effect uh, i haven't seen that movie dude that's a know, great movie good. avoiding dps checks. scary man all of that stuff and like it just makes me think i'm just like are Jagex like borderline geniuses or is it the people who find these methods that are the people to credit here? Because there's credit on both sides because it's like on one hand, yeah. it wouldn't exist without the developers and they have yep. created something that's just so special. And on the other hand, it's like there are just so many creative people that are able to take pieces of content that look at like face value mm -hmm. so difficult and just impossible to do and then they find ways to like avoid certain damages or like you know they figure it's out built methods. in dude it's built into a community bro that's the thing like yeah. look at speed running right look at how they take apart these old n64 games that no one oh, expected yeah. them to do crazy shit to it's not the developers fault it's because these people amazing people spend their lives decoding mm -hmm. this game looking through the code looking through every possible means that's just what happens when you get a really strong community behind any content they they, yeah. they make cool shit minecraft started that way with the let's plays now you look at this behemoth of a company now right just just the beautiful beautiful mechanisms of how a community works in a really good video game yeah yeah for sure i think like just the the community in general they just like i said earlier they have to have this fi the game figured out to the dime like I think the, the developers aren't designing these bosses. I'd like to think at least to to these methods, not like to accommodate to these methods. Like they just get invented by the players. Yeah. And we're just lucky enough that it happens to be like that, I guess. Like Chambers is a good example. Like Chambers was never meant to be soloed, I think. Like I think nope. Aaron made that. And like theoretically, he's like, oh yeah, I guess it, it could be possible. But like these all these methods that people came up with is like wow like you wouldn't yeah. expect that like getting dragged in on an attack like it was kind of before chambers that was not really a thing anywhere it's like wow like yeah, to be able to dodge honestly. an attack like this that's really cool yeah i think we're quite lucky as well that like i the one one that stands out in my mind is when the butterfly got discovered and it was like i remember specifically seeing a post from jagex saying like this isn't what we intended but we're gonna mm -hmm. let you keep doing it because we can see the yeah. amount of effort and like you know yeah. it takes it takes a lot of a lot of practice to really get it down and it is effort still it's just a different way an unintended way of doing the content so i think we're quite lucky for that because they could have very yeah. easily just been like nope we're changing this that's not yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. going you know it's something you want from a, a commute or a, a dev right it's something you want from a video game you main is that they appreciate the effort that's put in and they'll let you keep those secret strategies right mm -hmm. not, not every game's like that that's yeah that's it's, ca it's kind of like 50 50 you know like sometimes what you discover is severely bad for the game you know like boosting but whereas sometimes you know butterfly it like you look at it you're like okay you you know it's like fine fine it, you, you can you can do this because you got to learn it and stuff whatever it yeah. adds another mm -hmm. layer to the boss you know etc yeah. so yeah it's definitely um case by case i would say you know what people come up with yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> i would say that for sure definitely i, I just i just also... imagine like somebody being like oh mm -hmm. my god i've created this really cool this this cool way of doing this thing and then it's just like permanently banned see ya. yeah <laughs> i mean th that's the thing they don't act on those do they like old wilderness bosses were so easy to farm with um unless you're a hardcore iron man uh yeah, with those sure. afk <laughs> methods right 
And now they're like, okay, after a couple years of people abusing these methods we didn't want in the game, let's change it now. So the the history for Jagex changing things that get that get easily safe spotted or, or manipulated is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty pretty logical that they'll just keep it going the way it is. I mean yeah. it's it's yeah. And I mean to be fair, with people cracking the code and uh finding new methods and potentially abusing mechanics is gonna get worse and worse as time goes. Because, like you said, it's just oh, a community yeah. of people that are it's really good. It's the information good at it. age, you know. What can you do, right? Like yeah. information will get passed on. It will get assimilated with other knowledge, and then just become like a powerful tool that almost anybody can can access to if they want to learn more about certain things and just you know expand on it. Yeah. But for future content, it's just that's just how it is, you know. If you want to learn something and like get better at it, you totally can. It's it's there Talk. for you. Tom, how yep. long has this podcast been going, bro? Um, like an hour? Right? Two uh, and a half, I think. We're at two and a half. Two and, two and a half, half dude. Yeah. Hey, oh, brother, unless you guys how long, got... was, how long was the hardcore discussion? You know, the Mutt special? Probably an or like hour. like a little over an hour. Half, maybe? Yeah. An hour? I think a little over an hour. Yeah, we're at two... Wait, the, what the hell did this last hour we talk about? <laughs> Bryce is just dazed. We've been, we've been talking about... We were talking about uh, TikTok titties and stuff. Yeah, we've been talking that, that about the correlation <laughs> between TikTok, dopamine, instant dopamine, oh, and then shit, that was an buying hour? and boosting okay. and stuff like that. Which I think you mm. can definitely draw a comparison between the uh, two. Yo, no, I'm just happy <laughs> we got... I'm just happy we got a, an hour on the mutts topic, because, you know, I don't... You know, Hell people... Yeah. You Happy know they came that. here for the TikTok titty content, though. Right, this is for the OGs. This is the veteran section, so we gotta talk about whatever the fuck we talk <laughs> so about. You know, is there is there anything that you guys would like to talk about? I mean, anything on anyone's there's chest? there's the Twitch stuff if you really want to talk about that. Still, you know. Well, I don't want to just guys. prolong the podcast just to prolong it, but I honestly, you know. if we want to just cover this Twitch stuff and end it for sure, I'm down. Um, uh, for those who don't know what's going on. So Twitch made an, a tweet yesterday talking to all of their content creators, right? That's Which a is a weird platform. way to, you know, they didn't email us. <laughs> they sent it out on a tweet saying, here's what's fucking going on, all right? You're not going to be able to put your own video ads. Your ads are going to be limited. It's pretty much a whole, it was like a list of things we couldn't do. Uh, super scary language, too. It wasn't like friendly at all. And then next thing you know, we got Elon Musk replying to Kick. And if you don't know what Kick is, it is a comp competitor to Twitch, which offers better revenue rates, is known for its gambling side, of course, you know, which people are not fond Owned of. by it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a it's a direct competitor. And so all of a sudden, Kick started getting a ton of hype around it. I think they doubled their sign up record, you know, the the day of. And Elon Musk tweeted, which if you don't know, Elon's making Twitter. He's creating a content creator paradise on Twitter. A lot to roll out there with subscriptions and and things like that. And uh, I mean, even Penguin's made a video, five mil views, saying Twitch is dead. Penguin, for those who don't know, very very uh, popular YouTuber, talks about a lot of broad topics. But usually, he comes in about one million, two million views for some of his most popular videos. Five mil in twenty four hours. Mr. Beast talking about he's going to stream on Kick just to just to say, hey, fuck you, Twitch, for being this absolute greedy. So you know what happens next 24 hours? Twitch completely backpedals on everything they just said. They apologize straight up because of the bad virality their greed got them. And now virality. we're in this scenario. What a word, virality. brother. What does that even Thank mean? You. Virality. You looked it up before the podcast. Dude, I need <laughs> to know what the fuck that... The tendency well, is of a... an image, video, or piece of information to be circulated rapidly and widely... Fr widely from one internet user yeah. to another for they say bad news carries Dang. faster than good news therefore kick the platform of competitor twitch is literally using the bad news of twitch to propagate their own yeah. uh platform which is a beta platform and it's working so well and i'm saying that if they can get mr beast to do one stream that would be like the uh, tenfold equivalent of when Drake streamed of Ninja back on Twitch, which kind of gave that big original boost, right? It would tenfold the popularity. There's no censorship. But the thing is, people are stuck on, right? And it's, I don't know if I want to cover this, is that they do promote gambling on Kick, right? Because it's free. Yeah. It's free. They promote everything. Like you could say Twitch promote sex workers <laughs> with their bathtub streams and their OnlyFans links, which is, hey, more more for them i mean they promote gambling as well like that's not yes let's not pretend yeah, that gambling's it, not twitch, twitch is not twitch is not really 
people don't see it like that, but they're not very, they are, they're very biased. They're very favoritism. They will ban you for, yeah. for stepping out in the so, gray zone. I mean, we're I all Twitch partners here. One of the so. main differences that people see that I've seen argued is the backbone of what's supporting each company. So with Twitch, the backbone that's supporting it and funding it is obviously Amazon. And as we know, Amazon mm -hmm. is like a fucking huge globerant. And it's all around the fucking Can I get a... What the fuck is a gobblerate? Gobbler? What would you say? Fuck you! Isn't it globerate? Can I Google it? Yeah, Google it, bro. Globerate. Globerate? When she came over last time and gave me that globerate, dude? But my point is, it's that's the backbone that's backing up Twitch, right? It's Amazon. Amazon, we all know it's worldwide. It's huge. It is what it is. And then the backbone that supports Kick is obviously they're also, I believe, tied to uh, a gambling website, right? And that's effectively yeah. mm -hmm. the backbone. That's the, the big pay pick, I guess, that covers stuff, whatever. Um, I, I see that as being the difference. But like to, to like question, I, I think that a lot of people fall into the argument of like questioning which one is rightfully just, right? It's like which one is a more morally correct um yeah source to pay people out um and i think that's where a lot of people like are at when it comes to like the argument is between which one's more f ethical i suppose right and i, I see that sure. a lot if if that's the only thing kick doesn't have going for them is that people question if 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 I was gonna say ethnicity, sorry, ethicality. I don't know. Making that we shouldn't be using big but, words on this podcast, man. Yeah, we're not, no, we we're should. Not but that's all I do. That's the <laughs> only thing that is being in question is their their ethics, bro. And it's funny because it's founded by people who started on Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, in my mind, I don't think the ethics going on with Twitch and the way they treat content creators is ethical at all, right? Whereas I look over at Kick and Hat, yeah, sure, they have gambling, they have sex workers, they have everything, but isn't that what comes with freedom? Right? Don't you? When when freedom and not no censorship is there, doesn't that mean most things are allowed? Right? And with most things being allowed, you have to just be aware of everything. Obviously, not hate speech or hateful acts. Right? You don't want to be hateful yeah. to people. Right? It's not yeah. everything, bro, or or straight up porn. But at, at a point, it's it's like okay, if you're gonna go to Vegas, you don't have to gamble, but you could. Right? You can just have fun. Like I don't I don't gamble when I go to Vegas. I just ignore it and I just have a great ass time and I eat food. Yeah. Right, so you could go onto this platform as an adult. And you don't have to watch the gambling streams. You can watch whatever you want in the freest way you want, with no ads and no. You talk about whatever. You know, you got banned for some like. You remember when Twitch had that woke state where you couldn't say certain words and certain polit political ideologies, Dude. which we're not going to get into. But that was weird, bro. It's still kind of no. going on on Twitch. Like, so it's a bit for, weird for dude. anybody who doesn't really understand this whole kick versus twitch thing so to give you like a little bit of a to paint a backstory the narrative here is effectively before kick existed they had a gambling site that gambling site was hugely promoted by some of twitch's largest content creators across the board mm. and effectively there were some content creators who were very much against other content creators advertising it based off of i imagine the amount of money they were being paid and um, effectively, Twitch had to put their foot down because there was a lot of uh, public outroar about the whole thing. And they said, all right, we're banning slots. We're banning gambling. Like, it's, it's no longer a thing. Now, in effect of that, what actually happened was that specific website is gone. It's no longer allowed on the website. But then literally cookie cutter identical websites that have the exact same games, have slots, have all of that stuff that was supposed to be the root cause for it being banned in the first place still exist and is still being streamed on Twitch. Now, in response to them being banned from the site, they then said, you know what? Not happy with this. We're going to make a competitive streaming platform to compete against Twitch, which obviously is like crazy when you really think about it, considering how big Twitch <laughs> is and how popular it is. It's yeah. like a true Goliath you know story david versus goliath for sure um yeah. but the the thing that's interesting that's happened is twitch used to be a very community driven place and this was Before ages amazon ago it. amazon bought it and ever since amazon bought twitch there's been a clear shift in what amazon are trying to do anybody who has any kind of like business mind or can look at things and read between the lines you can see there's a lot of things twitch have 
tried to push over to us and they've successfully done so without us having a say in it which is all about monetization it's like they've cut the amount of money that content creators make from the 70 percent split to 50 percent split granted the context there is if you were in over 100 grand okay and what have they replaced that with they've replaced that with ads which in turn basically decreases the value or the enjoyment for the viewers because we all know what it's like when you click onto a stream and you've got oh, to yeah. sit through six ads. It sucks, Real. but it sucks even I just, more. I don't even, I don't even wait. I just go to the next stream. Yeah, right? I, I'm getting that. Dude, I literally, <laughs> I X out and I go to YouTube. I'm just like, I'm not watching this, but it sucks yeah. even more because if you're watching a stream and you get hit by those ads, then what happens if like Mutz is about to get a drop? He's about to open the purple mm. from the chest. There's no like playback feature. It's like, you've just missed that. My point is, Twitch have made a lot of decisions that have been questioned by a lot of people. And I think it's fair to say that when you really look at it, they're trying to monetize the site as much as possible. Um, they tried to pass a regulation or policy like yesterday, which was effectively, if you're going to be sponsored, it can only take up 3% of the visible on screen, which is like one little piece of it, which seems so just yeah. so bizarre. Um, and it Crazy. pretty... That there is a theory that it stems from um, Twitch are trying to have their own integrated, like, sponsored system, and they're basically trying to, like, monopolize and have, like, you know, the whole control mm -hmm. over that stuff. But the problem with it is, and this is a massive problem, is that when it comes to Twitch, a lot of the amazing shows, a lot of the amazing content, the competitions, anything that you've seen that's creative um, or being outside of the box, most of it can only happen because they're sponsors and if you don't have those sponsors those shows never exist in the first place because quite frankly they run at a massive loss without them or they just can't physically do it because it's just going to be like at, without the outside of the realm of possibility so yeah. basically what i'm getting at is they've made a lot of decisions that have just been very corporate minded i would say with the incentive of just making money for the company and while all of this has been festering on the other side the guys that were banned for their gambling site have now made their own streaming service and they're effectively doing all of the opposite things to what Twitch is doing, which is instead of punishing the creators, like rewarding them, I would say either fairly or even more fairly than what is reasonable. So it's a very interesting time. Everybody mm. has an opinion on it. Yeah. Um, uh, for, yeah. Me, for me personally, I've been streaming on Kick now for like probably two months i i was probably one of the early adopters with mint here like we both kind of jumped over at the same time um i've stuck with it like all the way through uh and and for me it's a it's a very simple case of like i'll be straight up honest with you boys like for me it, it's about the money side of things it, it's a simple case of i hate when i will get a subscription on twitch and i don't mean to say that in an ungrateful way whatsoever <laughs> but then when i go into my revenue stream and I see that somebody spent $5 subscribing to me and I've received less than $1.50. And that is a common occurrence. And I don't know why that shit happens. Like it literally happens all of the time. I'm sick of seeing that. It's just like my friend the other day gifted a sub to me that cost him four British pounds. And of that four British pounds, I ended up getting, I think it was the equivalent of one pound 50. So it was like even under 50%. And I was like, I was like, did you use a vpn did you use a weird site to gift a site like did you use a weird currency like what did you do and he's like no i literally just paid for my bank in scotland and i got one pound 50 and it's even less and before you say it i've got all of my tax information sorted out i've had it sorted out for years i've been partnered on twitch for years and quite frankly for me personally i hate seeing that shit because it just doesn't add up it doesn't make sense it happens all of the time there, there's mm -hmm. so many inconsistencies. I'm sorry I'm taking up a lot of the, the talk time <laughs> here, but I'm getting to it. Um, for me, when it comes to kick, like it, it's literally a case of, let's say I've got 300 subs on Twitch, okay? 300 subs on Twitch is effectively $1,500 coming out of my viewers' pockets in order to maintain me at 300 subs per month. If I'm on kick, I get the exact same amount from 150 subs right it's half probably more Pro probably honestly. probably like considering how probably weird more, the yeah. payment system is and all of that stuff and it's just like 
for me it's a no fucking brainer i i think it's a very individual uh you know decision to make and like let's make this clear i didn't move to twit uh, i didn't move to kick because i was just like man i'm fucking i'm tired of not being able to speak my damn mind i want to be bigoted or whatever like i literally have the same rules on kick i'm like if you come into this into my chat on kick and you're gonna be an asshole you're gonna get banned like be respectful i don't give a fuck who you are like be nice be kind that's all i ask and nothing changes I, to, to add on top of what you're saying tom because i agree with everything like the financial input and how twitch is constantly just uh, since they've taken over, I mean, what was the first thing they did? They enacted copyright laws with very grave, vague guidelines to where they weren't talking to us, but we, as content creators, were saying, did you see that lady who just got banned for that copyright strike? What the fuck? Let's go delete all of our fucking VODs, oh, all yeah. of our clips, all of yeah, our memories. That was dude. terrible. Right? And we had to figure that shit out ourselves. Yep. They gave us really not a lot to deal with. And I always think of, and just a fun little thought here, when a dictator takes over, what do they do to a country? They delete the past. Same shit, right? I mean, they Photoshop <laughs> shit. They do. they do. Hitler, I know, I know. Mussolini. I learned. Oh, they, they it's it's a hard. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, I think they did it based off of a a legal thing where it was like, we don't want to be caught up in lawsuits and being sued due to people having yeah. copyrighted music. Now, I don't. Clips, I'm not right? saying that they are the dictator. It's just I don't think they have much mind. of a choice. That is how it feels, right? That you got to delete every every memory that you had. Uh, and then on top of that, though, right, just wanted to kind of, you know, there's a lot of things they have done that have not been great. But if we go over to Elon Musk, him owning Twitter, right, what is he trying to do with Twitter? Well, I've been keeping up to date. He's trying to actually compete with TikTok, YouTube, and he's trying to make a content creator paradise. So what are we seeing with content creators, man? Is it the platform? Or is it the creator that brings value? Right now, we're seeing that the platform brings value, but slowly we're moving into the creator that makes the value. Just like if you go to a pro sports team and you buy a really, you know, you you get somebody over to your team and you sign them on, that is the value, right? Not the team in general, right? You get some crazy player, they're going to make crazy plays, boom, your team's fucking number one. That's how people, that's how content creators are going to be treated in the future. And everything that we're seeing is lining up with this Twitter Right. It's, it's, it's going to be the point where you can actually sign up for Twitter and then have your email address linked to that fucking content creator if you want. And then if he leaves Twitter, you could follow him with your email. Right. It's it's going to be to where you just you're just going from content creator to content creator, finding content online. You don't care about the platform and wherever these guys go, they make it big. And when I see Fair. Twitch doing the things they've been doing lately and then I see the opposing the people on the other side of Twitch who are not just small gamers, but honestly, very, very powerful people, even when it comes to just normal money, not even just in the gaming world. On the other side of that, I can see the shift happening before it even starts, right? That's, that's my mindset is where I see this shift happening and the way that Amazon backstepped their apology a day later, they see mm -hmm. that shit happening too. It went from how much can we test and take from our content creators into how much can we get back with damage control because we really bro. fucked up. Instantly well, change yeah. of mind, Look, bro, because they realize this. The last it's thing a good, it's a good thing that Kick exists in that case because I, I kind of doubt that they would have backed on this if no. Kick wasn't a thing because there then no they wouldn't have had the like uh the situation on the money p end of it because that's probably what made the decision like oh shit we are losing so many people right now and they're going to a competitor so like that gives them it gives them an incentive to back off like they could get so much hate on twitter but they could just say we don't care we are, we're we're in a monopoly here you know yeah. uh, but no longer the case really like they have competition now which like i'm personally not a big fan of kick but that's fine. I'm still happy with Kick being there because it means that Twitch is under pressure to do better and um, to actually provide value as well and improve. So I'm happy that there is competition, even though I wouldn't yeah. really, I wouldn't see myself moving to Kick, but I'm yeah. happy that Kick is there, you know? Yeah. That's, it that's all goes back to enough. monopolies, right? That's why the government ban, even though they fucking exist, obviously, they ban monopolies because if you have one thing providing all the goods and they control the price they control everything it's not good for the consumer you get yeah. competition the consumer wins and the creators win and they have to fight each other to bring the most value and that is what we are yeah. seeing right now is the most value brought to not even the content it's, creator but i mean as a viewer no ads 
Mm -hmm. yeah, it creates bro. competition, man. Like that's that's it at the bottom at the bottom line is you know it's gonna it's sure. gonna light a bit of a fire underneath his Twitch's ass to sort it out. It's because there is competition now, and it's like what if it's Twitch not just falls, kick, it's dude. YouTube. There's loads of streaming platforms that are looking more and more desirable to people. And um, you know, it's the more Twitch like fuck around and make bad decisions yeah. that are greedy. Like I, I think if they just continue down this road, like it, I don't even think they're gonna exist in like five years if they keep making these kind of decisions because like mm -hmm. people are just gonna go elsewhere because they're just doing yeah. silly things. And you know, at the end of the day, it's like they weren't there from day one, so I guess they don't value. Um, you know, the viewers or the content creators in the same way as the original makers do. And, you know, mm -hmm. they've probably lost sight of that and they've lost the, the grasp of what truly makes Twitch special. And at the end of the day, it's it's the content creators. And it's like, but then, you know, it's like you need to not only make sure the content creators are happy and try not to, you know, annoy them too much, but then you also want to do the same for the viewers. You want the viewing, uh, the viewing pleasure an experience to be as good as possible. You you don't mess that up. That's like the key ingredients to having a healthy, successful live streaming website. But um, and Twitch is failing the fucking. I mean, with the side panel ads, normal ads, like ads the, on the chat. The, the I mean, what thing... the fuck are they doing, bro? They're just constantly making it so it's not pleasurable to be a viewer. For, for at me all. personally, the the thing that I disliked about the post the mo the most, and I haven't seen many people even talk about this, and I retweeted it. They they tweeted out at the bottom of basically their apology saying we missed the mark with the policy language and we'll rewrite the guide mm -hmm. guidelines to be clearer. Thank you yeah, for sharing your concerns. Yeah. We appreciate the feedback. We'll notify the community once we have updated the language. Right? Now, for me, that just, that sits so wrong in my stomach mm -hmm. when I read that, when it says we will, uh, once we have updated the language. They're, no, like, they it, said, you got me. It, it's, right. like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna rewrite it in a way which is more. We're gonna we're gonna put some sugar on top of it, make it sound like less worse than what it is. But the reality is, it's like, well, that means nothing. Like you're trying to enforce a policy, you're gonna rewrite the language. Like you're gonna make it sound nicer, but the rules are still the same. It's like, what, yeah, what is no, this? Like changing they're, the, they're, they're not changing the angle. They're just like, how can we make them be okay with this angle, no, right? Let, yeah. Let me, it, rephrase, I, let me, let me, let me uh, translate that for you. They, they basically said, all right, all right, all right, okay. You called us out on our bullshit. We're gonna have to change it up so that um, it, it's a different, you know, not gonna, the same yeah, policy. We're gonna sugarcoat it. We're gonna yeah. sugarcoat it, but it's staying as it is it i don't know like i just read that man it's like no oh, i don't yeah. think it's staying as it is i think they're no, actually it's, changing it's that. definitely not also just to clarify yeah. this wasn't the apology this was like the tweet before the apology before they fully backpedaled which yeah, is, yeah, yeah so they, they were they in multiple mindsets it. they were like mm -hmm. oh we fucked up a little bit oh we fucked up a lot of it oh you mean if we it's never like, had oh, damn, ads to begin with mad. we would have like, made more money by <laughs> getting rid of all of this bad publicity like the amount of money they're losing from trying to be greedy it's like are they are you be sure they're owned by amazon because it doesn't seem like the smartest people like are, know what they're doing with this community bro well that's the, that's the trouble dude amazon have never owned a you know content creator live streaming business they're brand new to this like they probably just saw like how much revenue it was making and they were just like yeah we've got enough money to take on this project and see if we can make you know it, make it better i or think i think there's two i think there's two issues right obviously you have your, the competitors right like you know we you've already talked about it a lot but there's actually another issue the other issue is the fact that converting an average computer user or just an internet goer into like a consistent uh viewer of live streams is is a hurdle it is a hurdle it's like it takes a special type of person to really become one of those you know like viewers because for example think about it right they and on twitch happening right you're bringing a lot of people yada yada but the thing is those guys don't stay. They're just there for that one thing, and then they leave. They don't. They don't come like expected. Like I'm gonna keep watching this guy every day. You know, like it's really. I think that's probably one of the biggest part of uh, problems is that like you you get more content creators, more people are getting into the streaming, but if there's not enough increased in viewers to accommodate them, then what happens, right? We just end up fighting for a limited resource pool that's probably going down. 
right? As in getting smaller. And, and of course, the competition makes that even worse for Twitch because then obviously some of the loyal viewers of those people that moved on are, are going to a different platform. So not only do you have that happening, you also just have a, not that many new people coming in to watch live streams, right? Yeah. As, like, as a consistent base. It's a more amount of competition. Yeah. You know? yeah, like, how many things can you watch right now? TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's... just so much... People probably and, prefer and they're going to continuously right. yeah. try to squeeze the money out of content creators when we Existing, have options. You know, yeah. is, I mean, you can do it in the choice. small print of the policy, and I, I believe it's still there. By the way, I don't know if you saw this, but they're basically saying that if you are an affiliate on Twitch and you decide to end your contract, uh, you, oh, you, yeah, you, you effectively charged. have to pay a twenty-five dollar fee to leave yeah yeah it's and like twitch yeah. hire me bro i will save you so much money <laughs> like if from not being a dumbass if it's, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. if it's not obvious by now like this is all very clearly monetization focused like this is what they're focused on here is the yeah, money they're side desperate. of things they're desperate man they're do desperate they not understand money. the first thing of business which is opportunity cost doing this will reduce that everything they're doing is fucking everything else up i mean they are yeah. What are they? I don't know, man. First things I think first, about it, right? Ideas. You don't want to make people leave, you know, because you're not getting that many new people coming to the site. But then if you take away streamers that hold these current viewers and making them move away, then it's like, then you even get less people. Then there's less people to make money off of to watch your shitty ads, you know? Yeah. Like, I under, so, so by yeah, the way, they need to I, do the opposite. They I, need to take care of the creators and attract new viewers. That's That should be their goal, not trying to milk... The yeah. existing base because because yeah. the existing base is already ticked off they're gonna leave more people are gonna leave yeah you know i don't so. i don't think this or say this lightheartedly by the way when i say yeah. i think that if they continue how they're continuing the the platform won't exist in five years i think there is a reality if they continue down this line of fault that could happen and it, i think it's a horrible no. thing because i know how many people like just in the old school runescape community alone streamers who have put years in, into this and like mm. dedicated their part of their life to it their craft and you know a lot of the streamers have all of their eggs in one basket they haven't you know went on to other social medias they haven't got booming youtubes where they've spent lots of time or you know a any other streaming platform or even some some in other social medias so it's like yeah i totally understand the fear like the frustration everything behind it there's probably a lot of people that say nothing purely out of the fact that they're scared of what's going to happen to their future with these kind of updates but like it is important i think regardless of what side you stand on whether you care about twitch or kick or whatever it is it's like if these guys are clearly making massive mistakes like you should raise concerns because otherwise things you know as you can see things have backpedaled here because there was such an uproar if that didn't happen, it would have just went straight through and like it would be what it is. You know, mm -hmm. say every time change yeah. happens, there's usually a big shitty thing that happened, right? Like, you know, usually during wars, big wars, a lot of changes to laws would happen, right? I feel like shit is usually accompanied by change. And right now, the change we are seeing, like I said before, is that content creators bring the value. So how do you bring content creators in? You give them the best best value they can get as well, right? So everyone wins mm -hmm. versus the old model where you just use an abuse that's dying. People don't want to do that anymore. And this is the change we're seeing. We're seeing every policy they try to give us shut down, shit on, and actually grow their competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. it's, it's kind of beautiful, bro, because that's the society I want to live in is where people are getting the max benefit no matter what and everyone's winning. I don't want to see the society where just one person wins and everyone gets to work for them, right? It's no fun. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I think what you're saying is is like describing it very well. I, I I'm pretty happy with like everyone is like upset with Twitch and stuff, but I'm very happy that this happened now. And I feel like I hope this is a changing like point. I guess where we'll go the other way around. Where there's there there's like a wake up call for them. I hope where it's like okay, we actually we have to reconsider things. We have to maybe change our point of view to to how we're gonna handle this situation. And maybe actually improves shit, you know. Like I'm very hopeful because of yeah. what happened. I, I dude, this is either gonna make or break them. E either yeah. they're gonna come out the end of this and they're gonna be a polished diamond, or they're gonna come out and be mm. a pile of crap, dude. It's it's one or the other. And I'm really hoping that they're gonna come out as a diamond, bro. 
I, I really do. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, it's like there I've got my own reasons for like looking for alternative measures. Um, and it's a very individual thing, but like at the end of the day, yep. dude, it's like, I, I like Twitch, you know, it's like, I've got a community on Twitch. Uh, it's just more mm -hmm. of a question for me personally of like, I'm fed up with certain things. And when I can yep. make sense of something in such a clear way in my mind, I'm just like, I'm going to do what's best for me at the end of the day. Um, but mm -hmm. I really hope that they come out of this good. I hope that we get emails soon telling us, you know, of all the changes that they're making and how there's going to be opportunities for this X, Y, or Z. That would be great. You get that an email that says $4 subs for everybody. You get all big cuts, healthcare. Yeah, I'll switch right back on Bro. over, but um, it, it's just yeah, how I see it. Huge change happening. I mean, some more examples, which are fun. You know, you got Fox yeah. News losing their top uh, reporter. He goes on to Twitter 70 million views in 24 hours for his first episode where he was averaging three views on Fox. Fox is now averaging one view. That 70x one video, a whole fucking broadcasting company. Let's not even mention Mr. Beast with his views versus literally anything that's made on the mainstream. Anyway, yeah. One of the older, no competition. Uh, maybe that's... sports. Maybe mm -hmm. fucking sports, dude, could compete with Mr. Beast. That is... That's the reality we live in, and it's slowly inching towards mm -hmm. that. And I, I, I am fully waiting for the day to where it just comes to fruition, man. I feel like we're inching there. It's so exciting. I love it. I, I think. I, I think. Love this shit. Dude, I think a reason for that is like, in a lot of ways, people just prefer authenticity, and, and like, yeah. people get that's why fed podcasts, up with all the lies. I, yeah. You know, I, I think that for for me personally, like, dude, as soon as I discovered the internet and YouTube was a thing back in like two thousand and seven. I stopped watching TV. I was like, why am I going to watch TV where I don't get right. to choose what I watch versus I can just watch some shit. I can find like a creator, an individual that I think is interesting and just learn about, I don't know, his fucking fascination for fungus or something. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, mm -hmm. like that, that's the deal with it. Right. It's just, it's, it's more, I guess, authentic, or at least it can be. Did you nail it on the head with the word authentic? Just one more example. Remember when podcasting boom happened? Remember the Joe Rogan fucking blew up? Why? Because it's not because people just want to go, yeah, two dudes talking in a room. Fuck yeah, bro. I love this shit. It's what they are saying is real. And what they bring people on are experts, right? And podcasting is like the truest form of just learning. And when you look at the news nowadays, you really don't feel like you're learning much. It just feels like you're angry and you're paranoid and you're scared. Yeah. Whereas that's why podcasting blew the fuck up. People wanted this shit right here. Like, that's why we created the OSR's podcast. Because not everything that happens in RuneScape is talked about. And a lot of the stuff people want to know. Yeah. What, what, what happened with the Tebow glitch? What happened I mean, to, it's, to the it's, mod that went rogue, right? They weren't, they're not going to tell you. It's so also we bring the them the info they want. It's independent as well. It's like, mm -hmm. we, we don't have any tie with, like, Jagex. Like, Jagex can't tell us what and what we can't talk about because they don't tell me anything it's like what what's <laughs> it to you you've got nothing to do with this at the end of the day we can have our opinions on whatever we want like we don't have anything nope. we there's no like hidden agenda it's literally just we come here with our own thoughts and feelings and we speak about stuff and like hey that's it is what it is bro it is what and it there's is there's such a need for that bro that podcasting blew up if there wasn't a need i don't think it would have happened I mean, Cal, right? i'm about to kiss you yeah. for my webcam in a minute buddy if you keep talking like that god damn all right <laughs> mutts i think we're gonna end the podcast we're three hours deep it's been yeah sounds good a pleasure having you my friend uh where can hey. people find you um so i somewhat recently started on youtube which i'm currently trying to grow still so uh okay. that's definitely where you can find me um it's uh it's mutts OS rest mutts OS rest on youtube um, currently very close to 5k subscribers actually, so that's kind of cool. Yo, let's get in the 5k, boys. Let's get we're, the 5K about, uh, we're about we're about four episodes away from the finale of the series, which is the Road to Grandmaster. So that's really cool. Um, no, I think I, I don't think it really matters that it's already spoiled because like everyone knows the end of the series that is <laughs> yeah. you know, getting the Zuck Helm, but I think that's fine because I think the videos are more about how did I get there, you know, like how did I do the task. So I think that's still it definitely it still adds value to the whole series. Um, even though yeah. the outcome is known to pretty much everyone. Um, so I think that's still really cool. And obviously on uh, Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash mutts. Okay. And on Twitter, yeah. I guess, but yeah. Hey, well, <laughs> listen, boys, we'll have 
all of the information down below everybody please make yeah, sure you go subscribe the to the description YouTube. get into 5k he's only what is that 80 subs away 80, 80. yeah Bro, yeah. we can do give us, come on i'll give make us a, nice a word for real quick and get you it should be give should us, be a new video tomorrow so oh, I think. give us a random word for the people who've watched till the end the real heroes dude what should they type down below any word Ooh, any word 10 8 wait mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hydra, yes, Hydra. Hydra. Ooh, Hydra. We know okay. you know. All right, you if you know, you know. That's my last task. That's my last task. Mm -hmm. yeah. We didn't talk about it, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know. Everyone knows. Everyone knows.